All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to some more Second Wind. Uh, this mod's been a literal blast. There's just been so many new things to discover that's been really cool, like this uh, little blacksmith village. It's just right outside Kakariko. We found it near the end of last stream last week, uh, and it's cool. It's got the classic Kakariko chickens. Uh, you can get cool weapons, like uh, <laughs> not the boomerang, not super cool, like that. It's like Impa's uh, Age of Calamity sword. And honestly, like stuff like this, new shrine overhauls, and even a lot of teases for future areas, there's a lot of possibilities on even what we can do today and just moving forward. So it'll be fun to explore all of them and just uh, take more of a gander at uh, this new second wind world of Breath of the Wild. So yeah, welcome everyone for tuning in. Hope you're having a good day. Um, hello, let's talk to this person. There's so many new custom NPCs too. It's really cool. Tell one the stories, okay. Oh, it passed the time. Interesting. <laughs> I got, well, just told a story. <laughs> and got a beetle. Beetle like that. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Ooh, it's very pretty out. Well, yeah, welcome everyone. Hope you're having a good Wednesday, as usual. Really happy to be back. And, uh, yeah, always excited for this. This is number three, uh, stream number three. <laughs> it's a little chicken coop. Hello, chickens. Uh, I guess our first little thing that we can do, though, um, there was a quest I kind of wanted to follow up on. Okay, we'll take the frog and get out. Um, it is the frog in the the quest involving uh, which one was it? Not the shrine quest. This one um, for the mask groomers. It says we should go. Wait, no, it's not that. Sorry, some of these are a little bit different. These masks. Okay, uh, the ranch ruins. I should go to them because these are like the Majora's mask masks. And uh, there's some rumors at the ranch ruins. There's a journal, so I feel like it'd be fun to kind of check out. So, see how those work. Let's probably... Yeah. Just so I can call my horse. I don't know if my horse is stuck there. So, yeah, Ranch Ruins isn't too far. We'll just have to tread across Hyrule and just sort of wing it, honestly. That's the best way to play this, always. Yes. Go to a Divine Beast. I heard the Divine Beasts are one of the few things that aren't really changed in Second Wind. So, I'm trying to avoid the stuff that isn't quite changed. Because this mod is huge. There's a lot of stuff, but it's still being developed. So... If there's stuff that I know that is not changed, I'm not going to play it yet. But hopefully by the time we want to get to it, it's updated. So, because it's being updated all the time. Uh, really cool. Uh, this mod is very sick. I love it a lot. First, we got to get our horse, though. 110 likes. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Um, in terms of milestones, yeah. If you notice, our sub count is 199k right now. You don't see an exact amount, but we're about 250 away from uh, 200k, which is really awesome. We may or may not hit it tonight. If we do, that's awesome. But if we don't, uh, maybe soon. Hey, I just really appreciate the support, and uh, it's awesome just how far we've gotten over this last mainly two years, honestly. It's been really great, so thank you. All right, take our coal horse. Uh, okay. Ooh, you know what we can do? No, we got some cool weapons to try out. There is that really cool uh, bottomless swamp camp. <laughs> Sorry. Very excited right now to see just everything we're going to see today. Okay. Mm. It's not a super fast horse. We can find a faster horse. I'm not sure if this mod has faster horses, but there's a couple really good spots where you can find some five-speed horses. Mm. Okay. Just in the bog. Oh. That bog is not horsey safe. Yeah. Oop. <laughs> Hate doing that. Uh, is he trying to follow me? I hope not. Oh, he is. It's okay. No, he's, he's okay. It's fine. There's a lot of birds above this place. He just does not want to be left alone. <laughs> I'm not even whistle sporting right now. He just is following me. Hey, you should stay safe. I'm... Try to protect you a little bit here. Mm. Okay. This is the camp I want to take on. This is actually one of my favorite camps in the game. Oh. I think we have a sniper bow. Aha. One shot. <laughs> and a dangerous fall. Oh. Yeah, I gotta take the Sheikah style. Oh. Everyone's kind of facing me, though, which is not ideal situation. Here. It's you I'm after. Oh. 
That at least alerted him, so his head's still. <laughs> that block problem, I'm just gonna shrug off. <laughs> oh, come on! What's with the render distance right now? <gasps> okay. Luckily, these trees are meant to be like natural bridges in this area. It's okay. See me if you dare. Ah, they dared. Uh, yeah, so... Wait, wait a second. We're just gonna smack him off. Okay, I don't care about him. That's good. And... Ooh, these weapons are pretty OP. But also, we gotta go Sheikah style. <laughs> We're both a little out of range there. <laughs> yeah, fighting these guys on an angle is a bit funny. Okay. Give him the beat down. Quite majorly. And, uh, goodbye to his stuff. Goblin horn. So annoying. <laughs> One shot. Hopefully get some arrow replenishments. There we go. It's a very uh, unusual camp, but I like it. Also, we can take this claymore. Nice. I think all the bundles of arrows from the guys we shot, yeah, most of them went to the muds. So sadly, most of the things you kill kind of goes away in this camp. Ooh. Double beats? Sure. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> we just kind of flung him somehow. I think we sent all of our body weight into him, and now he's off. Not a great cannon if you don't loot, I guess. <laughs> That's fair. I like doing it Sheikah style, though. Okay. Do we have a better shield? We do. Pff, come on. Don't regen. Hit me. Ah! My timing sucks. Come on. Pff, and that time you just missed. That's a disappointing encounter, you know what? Nothing too interesting. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. A little bit of a warm up, though. We can get some guts for elixirs. Also, thank you, Davion, for uh, the dollar. I appreciate that. Yeah. Just, just a nice chill start. Silver rupee. Good. And there's a lot of mushrooms. What is that thing just sticking out? Is that like a traveler sword? I think they're using that as a dart or something. Suppose so. Why not? All right. Is there anything of benefit besides mushrooms? A spear in the wall, yep. All right, no. We're just gonna fall and that'll be okay. Yeah, welcome everyone tuning in. Uh, we literally just started. We're just warming up on this little monster camp. Uh, <laughs> blew half the things into the mud. And yeah, we're just going to go to the ranch ruins to uh, investigate a rumor about some Majora's Mask masks. So, <laughs> just a baby little warm-up. Mm. Oh, hello, bunny. <laughs> Headshot. Which is like half its body. I also I mentioned this before, but I love how the quivers change. Uh, this is like the knight's bow, so we have like a knight's quiver right now, which is cool because compared to like a wooden bow, that's the normal one. Uh, so that one's more knight-like. This one's like the soldier, or like, like traveler's one. So I like that a lot. I think the base game should have had that, but it's cool that it's implemented for this mod. Is this mod glitchy? Not at all. Um, this mod and Relics are both very polished, which is nice. And, you know, the Breath of the Wild mod community just very expansive. A lot of talented people. Um, it's it's quite amazing, honestly. Okay. So Ranch Ruins is not too far. We might see a Guardian or two. Hello, birds. And goodbye. Nor do I know where anything too crazy is. Yeah. Or is that cave? I can check that out. Yeah. Gotta love the writing music. So much to appreciate. 
Where's the shrine too? Is that the uh oh it's a stable one. We can always get more stables too. <laughs> of course it's raining for this. We will come back to this quark when it's not raining. I will save myself uh the like two minutes of hassle. Just trying to almost climb up and then slip right at the end and then do it a second time and a third. Because that's always how it goes. Um What do I hear? Nothing? <laughs> Master mode platform. A bow? Oh! Nah. Hey? <laughs> You're already unalerted. Oh! Not good. Good. <laughs> the Boko Bridge? Uh, hey. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna use a new weapon. This one's like Impa's like fast little sword. From Age of Clam Woo! Age of Calamity. <laughs> nice! That slices and dice is nice. And one more jump attack to finish. Nice! It's a very cool weapon. It's short, but uh interesting. I like how there's another weapon to add to the Sheikah aesthetic. So I'm always a fan of that. We get milk. That is our reward. Time to head back. All right. Well, uh, can we get a horse over here. Yeah, we can. <laughs> It'll catch up. But in the meantime, one mushroom. Perfect. And zonai pillar, which we can't climb because the rain. We do have a bit more stamina, which is good though. Mm. The stats above the weapon is a durability. That's the only other, like, little mod I have on top of this. So, uh, 11 durability, 28 hits, 25 hits. Uh, so just minus the two zeros. Because that's just how the game calculates it. Um, very helpful. Wish the base game had something like that. Okay, but, uh, let's do something, well, fun. All the shrine, or majority of the shrines are overhauled, so... This will be something different, more than likely. Oh, bunny! Meat. <laughs> All right, but yeah, nice to see you all today, though. Uh, good way to just get started, chill. We'll do the shrine. Yeah, the ranch ruins is, I'm excited for that. I also do want to get the camera ruins soon because we can take pictures of the new things and get like new info on them, uh, which will be cool. <laughs> rain, rain, go away. Be annoying another day. Hopefully never, but it'll always come back. Okay, what's this? This water, foliage, ooh. I one. What is this gonna be? Shields from water. I like this already. <laughs> the waterfall with uh, the vines. I, I appreciate that aesthetic. Okay. I like when they make me use uh, sideways Coronas, because Coronas always gets the least amount of uh, just uses, honestly, in the game. So I like creative uses. Oh, hi. That's still going to take a bit. Into the water you go. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Sometimes killing the lone enemy is the key to <laughs> unlocking a door. I appreciate that the parts are extremely light. They just float. It's always nice. Ooh. Oh. Ow. Luckily we... For some reason I thought I was going to interrupt. <laughs> it hit the other one. Typical. Ah. Too slow. <laughs> Come on, Zoro weapon. I couldn't parry in time, so... That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> we'll eat an apple or something. And the torch's light. I wonder if lighting the torches early gets that. I, I doubt it. This shrine's so different, I don't even remember it. Uh, the base one. Just so detailed. They're like proper mini dungeons. I've always really appreciated that. Knight's broadsword. Okay. 
What is going to happen now? Actually, <laughs> baked apple. Or two. Or three, because I'll make it even, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Oh, it's this shrine. Wow, it's so different. I didn't even notice. There's still another chest. Hmm. Wasn't there usually like rafts here? I do like this though. You heard YouTuber? Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, there's a ladder now instead of a just a chest? That's probably how you advance. I like the look of these ladders. They're very nice. <laughs> Always get sniped in the shrine. It happens. Always with those scouts. Hi. Luckily, they're weak. Oh, this one's crawling around. What? Oh, no. Ah, that's such a hard one to parry. The timing is very weird. Wait, what's he doing? Oh my, wow, it's like a baby version of the, the boss ones. <laughs> That's, I did not expect that. I was like, wait a second. Interesting. Well, uh, I guess we could pick up a shield if we have the room. We do. And the swords are just pretty weak, honestly. Like, even a new one's only 20, so. Boomerangs are at least fun. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, I was second guessing. Okay, but up here, I'm happy we ate the apples. That was good. No, that spin attack move, move it's like, I n never have had a very high parry success rate for that. Because it's a bit funny. Wasn't it usually a chest? Yeah. I missed something up here, didn't I? It wasn't just to kill the enemy. I, I assume that there's a chest and I just completely went the other way. That's not the case in oops, but. Okay, so there really was nothing. It was just killed enemy. I see. My bad. Uh, well, let's not make our trip for. Yeah, we're not going to make the trip worthless. I actually changed my mind, and I think that. In case we kill some guardians, I think we should swap. <laughs> Isn't this the most fun game to play in Breath of the Wild? Okay. Good sword, but uh, in case we find some guardians, we can use these to chop off the legs. So, it is practicality in that sense. We have other weapons to just, you know, use for general combat. You like how this shrine's been changed? You know, like in the base game? That's fair. I thought it was interesting. I just like the ending part of the shrine a lot. Uh, Because you usually take like a raft and go past these guys. But yeah, the second wind shrine's like really nothing compares. So much detail. Okay, can we still get up? Uh-oh. Wrong way. <laughs> uh, I definitely messed up. Yeah, it's usually a raft, so I didn't know where to go. <laughs> okay. I guess that happens. Um, my war point's a little goofy. Or safe point. Okay, so you still have to be very cautious. Um, there we go. Double. <laughs> Come on. Just barely, ever so close. Nice. The combat still feels very, like, vanilla, like Breath of the Wild, like, which I like. It stays true to, like, the original feel. Not super crazy or anything, but, uh, well, obviously, like, stuff like that's kind of the same. But when, he's, when we see some of the other, like, enemies, it's like, okay, it's nice. It's the environments that are really changed and different. But okay, I think that's everything. The chest icon that appears usually when you get all the chests doesn't always appear in this, so I can't really base things off that. Which is okay. What armor sets besides the Sheikah set do I have? I have that and Hylian and probably some other miscellaneous stuff. Uh, also, we just got a uh, fourth spirit orb, so more stamina for us. Good. 
yeah it's like obviously all the new second win stuff but there's only the third stream of the playthrough so i think it'll also be important to get like stuff like the cameroon eventually the master sword or at least go in korok forest to upgrade more things from hestu so okay well this forest is good i'm actually just gonna check it for a quick second Hylian Shroom, uh, you find really good Hardy and Dura stuff in here, along with just miscellaneous. One of the best farming spots in the world, just conveniently by a stable and a war point. So, that stuff. Enduras, good, good. Um, what do we got here? We have our <laughs> more Enduras. A lot of Enduras. Each one's a full restore of stamina. Oh! Each one of those is a pain in my ass. Okay. <laughs> Let's get rid of them. <laughs> Let's not use that method for uh, the ones that jump around a thousand times a second. Where'd he go? Where, where is his head? <laughs> Genuinely no clue. Wait, oh there. <laughs> I see now. Aha. Oh, it's a Lizzle one. We really haven't seen too many Lizzle enemies anyways, so. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Crystal, please. Yes. <laughs> nice. Appreciate that. <laughs> that was the most drawn out uh, stall enemy encounter I've done in a long time. <laughs> okay. Always sidestep. Nice. Just the annoying enemies. That's all. <laughs> okay. Little parts. Yeah. And we'll find uses for these evil crystals. <laughs> Whatever they do. Probably for cooking and stuff beyond. Yeah. Our meat collection's growing uh, pretty nice and strong. What do you put into timeouts? Uh, only thing I can think of is that night bots. Um, it can sometimes be touchy if you use extra caps or emojis. I'm not sure what you did. Like, 95% of the time it does a great job of protecting spam, but the, the the flip side is that it can accidentally do funny stuff. So, sorry if that's what happened. Uh, it's not perfect, but if we didn't have Nightbot there, there would just be a lot of goofy stuff. So, I'm sorry to hear about that. But yeah, welcome to everyone tuning in, though. Uh, we just did a shrine. It was nice and revamped one. <laughs> also, more bunnies. Yes. Bunny 1 and Bunny 2. <laughs> Me collection growing stronger again. First stream will welcome. The bunnies are cute, I know. Uh, sorry for murdering them all, but <laughs> I would like their drops. Okay. The well, best method. We will check out the ranch ruins. Sorry, I don't mean to hold up on that. Something about just experience replaying this game even from like the near beginning like we are now is always just very exciting there's so much we can do oh i'm using a crap bow i go shot that through the bush nice okay there we go hardy perfect farming method you can see all the hardies see all the plants and what else can we see nightshade and we can see more. <laughs> okay, now leave that guy alone. That's whatever. There's not too many more things. I know there's a Korok though, right? Somewhere there it is. <laughs> yeah. If it's too dark, Stasis is best friend. Ah. There we go. <laughs> Silly Koroks. She was gonna break, which is very upsetty. And I know there's a couple more, but well, let's get that last Hardy thing then. Run it. Yeah. Oh, it's a big one too. Nice. And that's another. Oh, there's two. Yeah. Okay. So as you see, this is a very good farming spot. We hit this spot up uh, right before we started the uh, Royal Guard run, because we're pretty much charging the castle naked. So. If you want some extra hearts to help you out, uh, you know, just in case, you can 
get the hardy stuff in here, cook it up. Also endure stuff for climbing. So it's really good early game location because hardy and endura. Let's cook a couple of them up. No shame in that. Wait till day because I like day. <laughs> Morning at least. Now, nothing too fancy. Uh, I forgot that one thing we can cook with the cheeses. Uh, we'll figure that out. <laughs> the Ordon cheese. Um, we'll figure out the unique stuff. For now, let's just cook with, you know, what we know. Full we'll restore. Three of each, maybe? Cheese bread, can we do that? <laughs> I don't know exactly what all recipes this mod offers, but it's cool to see them. Five. Okay, good, good. What is that? One cheese, three different fish in one plant. Okay. Mm. What headphones am I using? I, you got JBL. Uh, I these are Arctis ones. Arctis is a really nice headphone brand. Uh, I think Arctis Sevens. Uh, been using these for many years. Very great sound and very comfortable. So. <laughs> A cheese, three different fish, and a plant. Well, we will do that. Uh, save that. <laughs> New gaming chair is very pog. Thank you. Yes, it is the same exact chair. I didn't actually mention this. It's the same chair I've been using for all these years, but new because that one was getting old. So I just bought the same one. It was only like $100. Uh, it's not very bad for a gaming chair. And, you know, it's like not beaten up and uh, squishy. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's see, it is one cheese we gotta do. Um, then we gotta go three different types of fish. And a plant, okay. So let's do a Hyrule, Stamina, Mighty, or Sanke, why not? Um, and a plant, so just a Hyrule herb. Yeah. All right, so whatever this cooks up, we shall see. What's it gonna be? Ooh, energizing day a hot, hot pot. <laughs> we, we, we made hot pot. A hot pot dish made from thoroughly stewed local fish. A favorite of those who used to visit Dea Village. What is Dea Village? Is that a is that a ruins that was originally Breath of the Wild or is that a new village? The name feels familiar, but is it from an older Zelda game or is that something completely new or an existing ruins in this game? I don't know, that's very cool. Wow, interesting. I like this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've never seen that one before. So first, uh, second wind food. I like that. <laughs> Love hot pot. You have to take me to eat some. That would be awesome. <laughs> hot pot, good. It's an Asia calamity dish. Oh, I see. I see. The village is a ruin. That's what I recognize it from. Okay. Very interesting. I like this. Uh. These are our armor sets where you can upgrade the base stuff. Level two. Um, well, okay. No, no need to postpone what we were thinking about doing. As I'm just going to postpone it by another second. So, <laughs> quest. I want to do all the content because I like it. We'll skim this. I know what he wants. Lost in thought. <laughs> Staring at the water. Also, probably should mention now. Um, this will be the last stream for... Well... The next two weeks because next week i will have to take a short break because i'll be out of town so there won't be a stream however uh i'm taking that day to upload a nice fun uh 200k video so it was the challenge one else i worked on a little bit ago and almost done editing it so that will go up instead of the stream uh so sorry can't do a stream but i guess that is the good news towards that knight's broadsword crap ah <laughs> uh, well Crap, this is such a cool... That's the only reason why I'm keeping it. only has 10, though. Well, this has 5, yeah. I'm s sorry. <laughs> Treasure chest. But, but we did. <laughs> nice, okay. Well, it got some uh, final uses out of that. Yeah. Knight's broadsword. <laughs> that's incredible. It was a sword. 
<laughs> it could have changed your life. You could hunt for whatever you want. You can kill all the bunnies and whatever else. Two acorns. That's the use out of that. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to go climb that tower now. And then I'm going to climb the next tower that is the Korok. And then check out the ranch ruins. So. Oh, there's Horsey. I see him. Go, 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 go. <laughs> we'll race him to the pillar. We're going to win. Okay. Um, it'd be kind of boring climb. Whoop. And then right at the end, we just go. Whoop. Nice. <laughs> it's not a bad way of doing it. We can have some extra left over. It's probably going to be like a silver rupee, honestly, but eh, why not? Leave it up to him for the rest. Kick the back. Yeah. <laughs> Opal. So 60 rupees, not 100. Okay. We were over there. Um, as much as it's tempting to wind bomb. Wait a second. Aha. That's what that's for. We can make it on. The Boko is dead, but the loot's there. So what is the loot going to be? Oh, Wow. To double X, but major attack up. Well, that's good. What's not good is not having... You change your mind all the time, but that's damage now. Uh, <laughs> love dropping perfectly fine weapons. Boom. For something more fine. So, it's finer. Also, there's always Koroks under these bridges. Almost every Korok has... Or, almost every bridge has a Korok under it. It's good to check that. There's only, like, a few bridges in the game that don't. It's usually this, or like the acorn hanging off a little chain. Um, yeah, it's pretty fun. Come on, cool horse. It's your time to shine. Ooh, elk. Truffle. Good enough. <laughs> While we're doing that, get him. Get that. And Gors is here. Yes. Gorsy. Woo. <laughs> nice. Okay. What are you up to? Hello. Um. It's a good rando breaker. Roasted food. Always. And rice. We took your rice. And there's an apple in the ground. Who are ya? Hmm. <laughs> nice. Well, that's crafty. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna procrastinate the Korok, that's for sure. There's all these pillars. See, it's like if I go to these places late in the game, I'm just gonna see every pillar and like, I probably got the treasure on top, like, it's not worth constantly rechecking. But if you don't get them right away, then I always just don't check them because I just assumed that I did earlier. Okay. Rock has to go. There's a bunny rolling around down there. That was a little too much. <laughs> just a little bit. Okay. We made it pretty awful for ourselves. We turned a simple task into a hard one. Make it a little easier. Come on, roll into it. It's actually really close. Did that get it? Oh, we were so close, actually. <laughs> How cool would have that been? But... <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Strength, Link. What's this going to say? Eat Mr. Hero. <laughs> Different dialogue. I like that. Okay. Enough messing around. I'm gonna go to the the ranch ruins now. What full myth? Okay, horse, let's go. Probably gonna see some guardians along the way. In fact, I think there's one in the ruins, so we'll we'll see. We got our uh, guardian sword ready. Okay. Wait a second. Is that a tree? That looks a little 
It looked like there was an opening, but I guess it just, uh... It is an opening. Okay. <laughs> I see now. Hmm. We'll climb up to it. What's up there? <laughs> Guardian sees me. Don't know how we didn't get that, so... <laughs> Whatever. Okay. What's he waiting for? Um, let's save. First Guardian. <laughs> Good. That's one. Damn. Okay. That's a fairy wasted. And shields mind eye burnt up. Nice. What? <laughs> I can't parry a guardian? Reloading that. I don't know what's going on. This is a basic guardian. It was guarding the treasure, literally. Whatever that was. Okay. Well, uh, genuinely don't know. Hey, guardian. Didn't appreciate that. We got the parry, but the game didn't want us to give, uh, yeah, didn't want us to have it. There we go. I, <laughs> I swear I can parry a guardian. There we go. That's what we wanted. Now get the legs. <laughs> That's what we should have done the first time. Breaking all of our shields. This is payback, guardian. Okay, not bad. And do we get a core? We do, it looks like. Nice. It's extra worth it. Good. Now let's go. Slide down the hill. It's still sleek, the shield. I love it. Yeah, don't ask what that was. Uh, I was trying to parry the guardian. They'll still always choke me. <laughs> Bat party. Bat. And salt. Okay. Nice. Ooh, what's that? Iron, amber, ruby, and more iron. Good. And silent shrooms. Okay. Cool little cave. I like it. <laughs> I appreciate the hidden rock caves. A lot of twisted vines for some reason. And a Korok. Ooh, ranch runes are just over there. The guardian anxiety is real always. Like, that will still always be a thing. Being 100% at guardians is as unlikely as being 100% at wind bombs. Like, you can be very skilled and you can have a high success rate, but you'll still end up in those uh, death loops. Um, it still happens. And that's okay. Oop, there's the ranch ruins. Okay. Might be in that tower. Hmm. Guess we'll see when we get close. Just killing every innocent animal. Two for one? Ah, one for one. Okay, better bow. And a bit of explosive action. <laughs> Only got the enemy horse, we're okay. Uh oh. Okay. So not good there. Uh, his friend is still there. Take care of them both, but we can't get too close. Good. Now. Give him hell. Oh, come on, get the leg. Yes. Okay. Flip him over. Keep going, keep going. There we go, more legs. Good. And more. Come on. We broke it already, but that's fine. Uh-oh. Um. Did we end them? Not quite. However, get them both. Close enough. <laughs> yeah. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> now he's dead. <laughs> Wait, no. He shot me through the guardian. 
That's how we lose a fairy. <laughs> I just assumed he was like dead. Like I was like, okay, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. We're fine. Wait, what? <laughs> well, thankfully, we have the fairy. Slam against the wall. Punishment and payback. <sighs> Disappoint me, Boko. <laughs> yeah, those guys are not our friends. What a drawback. <laughs> it's okay. We're not failing our parries and uh, yeah, got some extra guardian parts because we took down the legs too. Get the honey. No need to face the bees if you just blow them up. Okay. Boop. Hi. A horse is joining. Get him, horse. No? Get him. I didn't mean to use these as a shield. I just thought that would have... Uh... <laughs> nope. He doesn't quarrel. We just have to. I see now. Okay. These guys are just little meat sponges, aren't they? Do we need that bow? Of course not. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, okay. Nice. What exactly is it that we're looking for, though? There's the entrance to Romani Ranch. There's a tree. I'm guessing just check the building. My bunnies. <laughs> Eggs. Eggs are appreciated. And what else? I assume it's in the building, but just in case, if it's not, checking the outskirts. Just for anything. Amber in there. And five arrows, that's pretty actually good. Nice. Okay. You would think a horse's kick does more damage than it does. It's just funny when it happens. Just like watching an enemy just get pulverized by the back of a horse. <laughs> it's great. So, okay. Must be, could be, should be in here. I don't think we can enter this area, can we? Wait a second. No. Hmm. Yeah, so let's look at the rumor again. Um. It says, I guess we'll just pull up one. Ancient hero once collected masks. Uh, somewhere in the ranch ruins is rumored to be a journal. Did I miss it in the tower? I don't think so. Maybe yeah, the, the very tip top. <sighs> Hate lightning. <laughs> I don't see a journal here. Check this last because I assume it was going to be there if it wasn't anywhere else. Mm, get rid of this bow for sure. Yeah, it's not there. Okay. Um, it could just be laying about somewhere very weird. <laughs> Secret entrance, I thought it would be. It won't light up with stasis, but it just helps me see in bad weather. That's good though. Mm. It's one very subtle spot we didn't look into. Oh, <laughs> talk about a subtle spot. <laughs> okay, hi. Was this book always here? chance. Uh, if you're reading this, must have met with a terrible fate. Probably just bit the dust, yeah. <laughs> Does it get on in years? Uh, need to share a few secrets from my adventuring days. It might be talking about the happy mask salesman. I found four masks buried behind the old windmill. Huh. I had to visit the places populated by those who portrayed by the masks. I left the masks on a journey as a reminder to one day revisit those locations. The day never came. The first, made in the form of a strange wooden creature, 
was left in the middle of a maze-like forest overlooking the world. Oh, so the Deku mask, that's probably in the, in the Lost Woods then. Made in the form of strange wood creatures. The middle of a maze-like forest overlooking the world, but it's not really overlooking the world though. Like, I assume it's Lost Woods, but... Hmm. Yeah, it might just be Korok Forest, like the city itself. Behind rocks atop an important looking house. Okay, uh, Goron City. Submerged in the lake, named after a legendary musician. Uh, forgot their name, but I think I... I think I know the lake. Uh, the final mask bore a strange Sheikah symbol. It sits above the path to the graveyard, watching with a keen eye. That's Kakariko, we were there. Wait, we can get that. <laughs> Second wind. Okay. No, we gotta get that mask. I'm sorry. Ooh, very cool. Wait, first, let's get a warp point somewhere around here. Or do something. I don't know. There's not really a close warp point, is there? Um, so that's cool to check out. I do want to check that out. Okay. Kakariko. So, what was the exact uh, hint then? Hidden truth. Uh, Where could this mysterious graveyard be? Yeah, uh, Kakariko. So we were there before. Uh, might as well check it out. <laughs> Let's go for it. There we go. <laughs> nice! Just the midair. Okay. Room. Or is it Typhlo ruins? Oh, we're looking at a world. It is a maze-like forest, but I feel like that fits the description of uh, Korok Forest more. And Deku's are more like Koroks, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I mean, technically, Deku's uh, eventually evolved into Koroks, so. Okay. It's right by the graveyard. It could be there. Huh. <laughs> Guess we shall see. Oh, wait. What is that? Oh, you're kidding me. Don't tell me it was there the whole time. <laughs> That's a cool chest. Wow. Okay. I like that. Very, very neat. Mask of Truth. A Sheikah mask that is said to reveal truth to the wearer. It allows the wearer to get hints from Gossip Stones. Haven't seen a Gossip Stone, but uh, this will be handy when we do find them. Let's put it on. Ah, oh, yes. Literally the Mask of Truth. That is so cool. Wow. I can't wait to get the other mask, too. That'll be awesome. Um, I'm, I assume we can upgrade it, so let's try to do that. Can you make Cold Horse fan heart? Yes. That would be awesome. Thank you, Cuddle Paws. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, can't wait to see that. It was literally hiding in plain sight. Like, that's <laughs> exactly what it was. Also, is that a Korok or just a ledge to get to the waterfalls? Because there's some weapons up there and whatnot. Okay, well, I want to see what we need to upgrade it. Because that would be kind of cool to have. Hmm. Aren't there Gossip Zones in Kakariko? Did I miss them? Huh. I don't know. <laughs> the mess does be fire. It's 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 really great. <laughs> wow. I remember we had like seven at one point. Oh, there we go. One respawn, so take advantage of that. No stealth buff, yeah, I'm assuming it's just for the special little quirk. For an impus house, okay. Um, pff, boca horns, that's it. Good for us. Okay, we will check Kakariko for one. Get some extra defense out of it. I can't wait to get more fairies, too. That'll be nice. Okay. Well, <laughs> very cool. Don't know how many masks. I mean, as far as I know, it's just this and Deku Goron Zora, like Majora's. This mask was also in uh, Ocarina. Pretty sure that was its debut. But masks were a much more uh, of a side thing. It's it was just like a small quest line you could do as as Child Link in that game. So it's cool to see expanded upon in the sequel. <laughs> just goes to think that like Breath of the Wild 2 could have just like you know. I could really embellish and just minor mechanics that this game has, which would be awesome. Okay, I don't see one. Also, we just totally missed the Korok that was here, because I'm just so used to seeing it. 
Nice. Yeah. I've beaten Majora's Mask. I've played all the 3D Zelda games many times. Very, very amazing game. I'm surprised we never got that. Mm. We got that one. Yeah, didn't see one. I'm sorry. Um... One of my favorite things about the mod, I do appreciate the shrine overhaul a lot. It makes every shrine feel like its own like mini dungeon, unique place rather than <laughs> kind of just more of the same, I would say. I appreciate that and just like, you know, just the subtle changes around the world. Uh, just especially how we saw a little blacksmith's uh, little village or not really village, but <laughs> just a little spot. That was cool. How it has like a new weapon and just how there's more rumors and such. I like that. Okay. Um. Well, we saw that. I think it's going to be a good idea to head along to a Tenno just to get the camera. Because we can take pictures of new things then and get new descriptions. Mm. Yeah, I think the best way... I guess we can take a horse from here. Yeah, because riding through Fort Hateno is good. And then we can get a, maybe a shrine or two along the way. Tower, you know. Kill some things, get some stuff. It'll be cool. We'll find a gossip stone. Hmm. 24. And yeah, honestly, getting that Deco mask could be cool because we could also go to the forest just to get Hestu uh, slots. Because I hate having Mitmul slots. Okay. Hmm. okay. Yeah, welcome everyone who's been uh, tuning in, though. It's been a fun night. Uh, Seeing, well, this has been awesome. I just, you know, gradually playing through this new playthrough. I always enjoy it. Like, even just when we're doing just casual stuff or just uh, exploring the world in a new save is always a blast. Because it's like, hmm, where are we going to go? And on top of mod content, it's like, <laughs> I have a lot of options. Also, look at that dude's face just right at the top of my screen. It's like, hmm. <laughs> That's great. All right, a lot of twins at the stable. I always like that. There's these twins, uh, like those twins. It's... It's a Twin Peaks stable. We're not going to do the request because you have to pay money to get a hint for a request. That doesn't give a reward. And it just, uh, well, you can just find the location yourself. Maybe we'll do it later when rupees are lucrative. Okay. Well, there's a quest you can only do during nighttime coming up. So I will do that really quick. It's right through our field. <laughs> this is funny to see. This is a throwing weapon. We'll swap it out somewhere. Like maybe uh, one of these guys upcoming. Yeah. Might as well. <laughs> we did it! Wait, that actually worked! <laughs> that was amazing! <laughs> what a trick shot. Okay. Good stuff. Okay, um just slowly walking like what was the point of that I think it's Zora time oh do your attacks stay mad Ooh, good got to charge up a little bit and then they fly okay as long as we're doing that that's just don't get hit by the black one that's good okay yeah a little too much <laughs> It's master mode. We don't have the best weapons for this. But I will take out the archer, though. Yeah. Okay. Give me free loot. It's always arrows. Most of the time, at least. Not that time. Give her the shield. I can use one. <laughs> we tried to rush me there. Now this is a bit more evenly matched. Nope. Not quite. Nice. Okay. Don't quite know what happened there, but Ooh, I think it's safe to go in. Can't fully tell. Actually, it was far from safe, but 
We did it anyways because we had fairies. Okay, now finish off with some of these. We're going to swap some more weapons, but that's okay. Nice. We can dodge it just by flooring the other guy. He's going to wonder where we went. Book bat with attack up three. Nice. Good. Side hop and get them together. Oh, but only one hit. <laughs> Great. Stone lock him because we can and goodbye. Nice. Get this loot in. <laughs> Free chest. Oh, nice. I don't know what else we need. What else do we need? <laughs> hmm. Um, broadsword. Yeah, better than... Literally, I picked up all the worst stuff. That's helpful. Um, that's fine. That's fine if we just diminish more weapons. I just want to take on the camp for the chest. I like getting all these. There's only so many. What's that going to be? Opal. Yeah, we're low, but uh, we'll get more. I prefer to be low so I know I have options and what to pick up. Horse? You know, we could use horse, but also... I'm feeling wind bombs, some fast travel. Get to some points of interest. Whoa, what, what is that? that? That looks like the plateau. There was one by Lake Hylia, too. Wait a sec, I want to check that out. Whoa, okay. Hold the phone. Uh, first off, just really quick, I am going to uh, just do this shrine, like right here, because it's a war point and it's safe. And it's a shrine you can only do during night, so we're gonna rush to it. Wait, wait where is it actually? <laughs> it is here. Hi, Donkey. He just got pushed. Uh. On that note, uh, we can buy something? Uh. Nothing we need, but thanks, anyways. Yeah, we gotta check that out. Oh, we're a little far, aren't we? That's okay. They're coming. <laughs> Eventually. I'm surprised he heard that whistle. Or maybe he did? I I, I believe so. <laughs> huh. I feel like that doesn't happen too often. We go get rid of them and the heads I should have locked on my crystal pop out Boop. and rice yeah my horse is still coming I think oh wow there he is how did he hear me this dude's ears are just legendary <laughs> wow yeah cool horse Woo. Only going to get legendary horses in this adventure. Okay, what is next? We have... Oh, a radish. There it is. Okay. There's like a rumor uh, book where we passed. But it's basically like, hey, one of the statues turns evil at night. And it has glowing eyes. Like, that guy. And shoot his eyes. <laughs> he gets mad. And breaks. <laughs> He's like, don't awake me. Ah, <laughs> pop. I feel like getting all these because there's so many. Croton 2022. It's like, yeah, I don't know. It's like I see a big objective and it's like, I want to make sure I do things gradually. It's like Korok. So I want to make sure I do as much now because, uh, There'll be a point in the adventure when Koroks are one of the last things to do, and I would hate to be in that world for too long. So, you know, space out stuff like that. <gasps> and Blazen Shield, yes! I could use another one. Those and Fisherman Shields, those are my favorites. Uh, so sorry, Boko Shield. Alright. Well, this shrine's a lot of fun. Um, hi, Fox. He just disappeared behind the grave. Okay, we'll let you live. Um... A lot of good food. Right. 
All right. Well, let's see what this one's about. Ooh, this one's dark. <laughs> My mask is bright. Okay, it's a bit caved in. I would like a torch, please. <laughs> What's this one called? Trial of Passage. Ooh. Interesting. It is very dark. Uh, if we see a torch, I will... Oh. Okay. Oh, what? F fire, guys! Oh, wow. It's like... Yeah, classic Zelda enemies. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like the bubbles. Ow. Oh, no. <laughs> he set my shield ablaze. Can't have that. Oh, and my weapon. Yeah. Well, I mean, with this in mind, wouldn't hurt to have a little bit of a light. <laughs> yeah, this one's really dark. Holy crap. Um, your weapons will last for a minute under the fire, so. This is a little scary. Oh, there's trees in here? Is that a boat? Whoa, this is like the underworld. Holy crap. Besides it being uber dark, uh... Whoa! I'm sorry, what? That was cool! For a place for a hidden chest. Korok leaf, okay. We're gonna need that. Yeah, quite literally, there is a whole, uh, underground, like, river sticks tunnel. Oh, we just blew him into the water. I love doing that. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. We can actually use it to our advantage now. I have a feeling that there's something up here. Yeah, this is something. This is really something. Wow. No, this is by far the most impressive one so far. Like a whole cave. Like it's... Sure, it's a shrine, but also just a cave. <laughs> dark, sure, but... Mm. Okay. There was two passes where I did see that. <laughs> I like when just making him, well, fly away first. That probably unlocked the other passes. Wait, it did? Okay. That is awesome. Very neat. <laughs> Where did the Sheikah build a passageway to the underworld? <laughs> Literally. <gasps> I love it. Or under the boat. <laughs> Speaking of underworld. Uh... <laughs> Very nice. All the keys we blew into the water. 61 key swings already. Wow. <laughs> so many. Okay. Well. If we get like a meteor rod, that can actually be kind of cool. <laughs> Temporary illuminate whatever we want. There we go. I hear a guardian. Blow him in the water. There we go. <laughs> Goodbye, Keys. Wait, what if we blew... What if we blow them away? Does it put them out now? Seem to be pretty static to that, but... Still cool, though. Wow. <laughs> so unique. So, so unique. It's just, yeah. What could this be? Oh, the key! I assume. No, it's a phrenic bow. Inventory's full for that. <gasps> um, better than a basic wooden bow. <laughs> this to attempt to lead Ganon back to his own do domain, the underworld. Yes. Okay, um. Only thing that sucks is that I thought this was the end. However, we are a little lost, aren't we? Shout out to Normie's Progress for making these insanely cool shrines, right? This is so super unique. This is, uh, yeah. How's it going, Shadow? <laughs> nice to see you. 
I need like glowing armor. You know what? Honestly, the radiant armor would be so helpful. Like going to Gerudo and getting that would be amazing because some of these places are just really dark. Uh, so I see great utility in that. Oh, wow. Ooh, it's like the statue. It's, it's what does it say? From the royal bird's view, strike that which gazes back at you. Beware, hero, that which you break, lest it be the remains of the dead you awake. Oh. I want the remains of the dead. Wait. Yeah, cool. <laughs> and you're not supposed to do that, but... Oh! That was a lot of damage. I wasn't... I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Uh, bad mistake. We don't have spears either. I just wanted to see, I just wanted to see that in action. I thought it would be cool. And they actually respond, so, okay. Uh, from the royal bird's view, strike that which gazes back at you. So cool, what? Man, um. This place is evil. Hmm. I guess we can just bare minimum get that rid of that royal birds view you say um does this mean from the eye that would make the most sense i think strike that which gazes back at you well if we mess it up yeah i guess we messed it up Hmm. So interesting. Uh, <laughs> shoot the statue. Where should I shoot it from now? Once again, from the royal bird's view, strike that which gazes back at you. Royal birds, unless there's like a nest or something. Is it a bird? Not really a bird, yeah. Aha! It is from high above. So I hear some rolling around. That's technically what's in the base shrine. <laughs> the shrine is absolutely nothing like the base, and I love it ten times more. How did I mess up a bomb parry? <laughs> uh, I thought too hard about it us arrows huh not a nest but what else can it be like an a tree wait a second yeah i can it doesn't gaze back at me though maybe from treetops or maybe they just alternate let me see now, I feel like we're onto something. I feel like we're onto something. Torch, bird, torch. Hmm. Okay, so maybe there's an order. Um, I'm just going to look at the statue, see which one's glowing. The torch is bird shaped? Hmm. It is. Okay. Yeah, it is a bird's eye view. Sorry, I'm still climbing. Aha! Okay, I just thought about tree afterwards. Yeah, bird's eye view. There it is. And we can see them all. That's that's fantastic. And that's how you get a phrenic bow. Nice. Aha! Is that the only... No. Interesting. Small key. There it is. Okay. Well, I assume those ones are just traps. Yeah. That makes sense. Because that's why I didn't gaze. It was just that one. Okay. Well, very cool. I was like, wait a second. And it makes sense. There's literally birds there. Wow, so, so cool. 
There's a whole ass riddle in a, in a shrine. Did not expect that. It's literally an underworld shrine. Yeah, kind of reminds me of the, yeah, the Scarred Sword dungeon where you go to the underworld. There's like the heaven and hell. Very good stuff. And super creative. If only the base game. I just was just, I don't know. When I walked into this shrine, it was very cool because I, I appreciate like the cave elements of this game. There's not many caves, mind you, but like the few times where you see like the Leviathan bones or just some sort of underground structure that wasn't a shrine, it was really awesome. And this really recaptured that feeling. So I really appreciate it. <laughs> Only problem is where do we come from? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Did I miss? I must have missed it. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, here we are. Okay. Oopsies. Again, I think it's a little bit darker on my screen because I have a, I have a tint on the actual screen where if things are too dark, it lights it up. Uh, I don't have that on the screen I'm looking at though, so that's just an output thing. So what you guys are seeing are, is actually a little brighter than what I'm seeing, <laughs> to be fully honest. Uh, <laughs> yeah, isn't that fun? Okay. Well, the boat was cool, but we're gonna sprint it back. Nice. We seem to be back. What a cool shrine. Now we got the key. Uh, yeah, we should be good. Finish it out. <laughs> Oh, you still gotta do this part. <laughs> Escaping the underworld. Forgot about that. So this is like the vanilla portion. Okay, I don't think we can tilt it, so let alone move it faster. So we'll just play by its rules. We can't, can we do anything cool? No. Yeah, we're just gonna wait for it. Do its thing. Get out of this. <laughs> Well, they literally used the whole space to make an underground section. So I assume from here... On top of there. I do like this part of the shrine, though. It's like clockwork. <laughs> oh, no! Wait, no. I messed up. Are you kidding me? You're seriously kidding me. <sighs> Von Nabor's vibes, literally. Except we can't rotate it back. So you have to move faster stasis it. That I did not expect. I assume we stop that, stops the mechanism. Three, two, one. It does. Oh, yep. Have to make it there too. Nice. I like that. Okay. Got lasers and then, uh... There is a chest there, but it's base game loot. It always is. So it's not something I can I really want to worry about, considering just how slow this thing moves, too. And to the top. There we go. Wow. <laughs> Very neon. Okay, well, that was the coolest shrine we've done so far. And we've done uh, about a dozen shrines at least. Yeah, some of them are really pretty. I like them. They're very lush. Some are just kind of dark and spooky, but out of all of them, yeah. Very detailed. Uh, like the whole under uh, underworld, just sort of river ride, and then the riddle was cool. That was really awesome. 300 likes in the stream. Thank you, guys. Don't really have a goal. I guess our base goal has always been like 600, so it's always appreciated. I appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, either tonight or tomorrow will probably hit uh, 200k, which I really appreciate, so thank you. Um, we are at, for an exact count, because um, it only pops up on my end, um, 199.779. So we're just under, uh, or just over 200 away. So thank you, guys. I appreciate the support. We'll get it soon. Hey, what are you doing? Where do you come from? Calip. What? Caught wind of the great Callop's groundbreaker research and just had to meet him for yourself. Huh. Oh. 
Dr. Kellop. <laughs> Interesting. I'm informing you that I'm engaged in analyzing ancient texts. Ancient texts. Doctor. <laughs> wow, now, he, now he's happy. He's like, I've been recognized fully. Very good. <laughs> okay. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierces its gaze to purge a seal from the shrine. Wait, but that was just that one. Is that base game? Wait, that there's no way that's base game. I've never seen that guy before. I've just read there's there's the journal, right? In Fort Hateno. I've always read the journal on, on the place here. And he pierced there's his light, so I shot the light. What do you mean this is base game? Why have I not seen that? <gasps> How have I not seen him? What? Oh no, he's running back. Okay. Whatever this man is doing, I always came in a weird time of day. Oh my god, wow. That is so funny. I mean, to be fair, I don't think I've ever finished all the shrine quests, just all the shrines. and Because you can do a lot of shrines without doing the shrine quest. So, uh... <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> So you learn something new about the base game every day, I guess. <laughs> How have I not seen that before? There's just too much to this game. It's awesome. Also, hello, who are you? Um, <laughs> finding all new sorts of people today. Wait, I don't think you're new. You just seem like a friendly traveler. Never mind, this traveler. That's not going to be friendly. During the year, Colin, I'll pass. That dialogue was so funny, though. Sickle! Boomerang time. There we go. Mm. Not very efficient. We're doing it anyways, because it's fun. It actually does 12 damage per hit, because they do extra damage while throwing, which is cool. Banana? I feel like I saw a red, but... Could have been my eyes. <laughs> Sickle. Nice. How much durability? It has 14. It's not very good. And we'll leave the camp alone. Because I really don't want to check out that plateau thingy. Wow. Favorite ability is easily a Revali scale. Because it's a travel one. And I like abilities willing to travel. Uh, common ones are cool. But I usually just wind up turning off Druruks and uh, Urboses. Because I don't always want to have those abilities active. And on and off. Mifas is just helpful. <laughs> I never have a reason to turn that off. Okay, uh, let's get up there. You know what? First thing we could get that tower first, just so we have it. I feel like that'd be a good starting point too. Hmm. The clue is your favorite region. It's honestly one of mine too. Like I just like how there's just so many, uh, you know, overlaying little cliffs and stuff. You can go underneath them, and there's just a lot of layers. And it's just very three dimensional. Yeah, it's the one area of the world that you can definitely tell that uh, Monolith saw, Monolith saw, the, forgot the company name, helped work for. Uh, there are the people who did Xenoblade, and in Xenoblade games, you kind of see a lot of terrain like this. So, uh, you, you can see that they had a lot of uh, help with the Breath of the Wild world, which is very cool. Yeah, sorry, Monolith Soft. Uh, oh boy, tongue, tongue, tongue ties. Uh. Okay. Does the mask give you a step bonus? I don't believe so. Wow, look at that. There's an arch going to it. Where do we go first? Do we go tower or? Well, in this case, I don't really know. As long as he doesn't see me, we're fine. <laughs> I'll be not hitting with that. Okay. Huh. Moblin stuff. There's little pillars leading to it. There's a path link to that, but also, hmm, I guess just through here. Hmm. 
He doesn't see me, does he? Nope. Oh, he, he did, actually. I assumed wrong. Okay. <laughs> now he's dying. Oh, there's a blue Boko, too. Oh, he picked him up. No, and we hit him off his hand. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that was great. Sheikah style. And there's Cole. He just keeps following me. I, I swear I didn't hit my whistle there. Maybe that time I did like a minute ago. I mean, to be fair, if you hit it like once, it just, these horses seem to just always follow you. I think that might be a second win difference, unless it's just uh, the game being funny. Come on, get some, uh, some rice. Not a cricket, but I'll take it. Yeah, I might as well. Okay, well, let's go uh, to whatever this is. It's like the plateau walls. Very cool. I don't know what this could be. Gems, sorry. Yeah, I genuinely don't know. Salt, amber, money. <laughs> Because we have to buy stuff. He, oh, he's literally hiding behind the rock. Okay, that's how I didn't see these guys. Wait a second. This guy's just going to be guarding everything. Huh, you know what? Okay. Take the tower and... Hmm. I'm going to just kill these guys first. How are you that dumb? How are you that dumb? <sighs> he's so dumb. Dumb enough, to, you couldn't even hear that. What? I don't mean to waste all of that. What? What? <laughs> that was such a strange, uh, weird encounter. Hit him into the spikes, it's fine. Deaf and stupid. Oh no. Interrupted. Wait. <laughs> What right back into it? Okay. And the spikes, which don't do much to him. Okay, um. I'm sick of his crap, so we're just gonna blow him off. Goodbye. Wasn't even that bad. He'll, he'll live. I just don't have much of a use. Okay. Let's go in this tower, and then we'll see what's there. I think Cole Horse approves. Blind and deaf Boker, yeah, I don't know what's happening with the detection mechanics there. Just a little confused. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how he didn't hear the arrows, and then... Who knows? Oh, he's going back. Okay. I can't see it from there. Let alone, I don't fully hmm, want to yet. One, and then we go diagonal. Perfect. <laughs> Use it the last bit of stamina there. That was the hardest part of the climb. I want to find where the proper entrance is too. Okay. And which which path is okay? I guess just any path. It's okay eventually. <laughs> we will make it. Ah, we do have stamina food, but not for this. This, we can cl climb pretty raw. I can't wait to check that out and see what it is, though. So. Upgraded Fort Hateno? Maybe. <laughs> oh, no. Mm. Wait till the meter turns red, or maybe not at all. What? Uh-oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? I, sh I'm, I swear I pushed the button. Huh? I... I guess it's one of the few weird times my controller literally did not press the button. Because I'm just like, yep, I pushed the button and it did not work. I swear. I'm like... Why am I going the wrong way? Well, that's annoying. Also, you th thank you so much, Skarmuki, for the 20. Uh, does someone explain to you why you're in timeout? Um... It might be a Nightbot thing. We can look into it. It Did you post, like, all caps or something? Or 
I don't fully know. It is a bit weird, and I'm sorry if just something happened. Um, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, thank you, though. Usually with Nightbot, it's like, I explained it earlier in the stream, but it's like, usually it, you know, does good at preventing spam and stuff like that, but it might overmod a little bit at times. Was it a lot of emojis or caps or link? Because those things will put you in timeout. Uh, we were spending five plus minutes in this tower because he kept falling off. Aw, it's okay. I'm just really disappointed. And now we're just going to use up all our food getting there. So, which sucks, but I kind of lost patience. So, yeah. <laughs> Why did I do that? Okay. Yeah. I guess like all caps for reward works. Uh, but like a whole sentence, probably not. Using fire arrows on the spikes, that is a fun way too, yeah. They barely get in the way though. Only helps just a smidge. Uh -huh. oh, very cool, we have Hateno. Oh, I guess we can see the map and see what changed on that. Favorite weapon, but it can't be the drill shaft. I love the blizzard rod a lot because it just it's so overpowered can freeze a whole camp uh yeah so functionality wise it's got to be that otherwise the sword from amiibo is fun it's just sword okay it looks the same which makes sense <laughs> oh there we go okay um who's ready to see what's in this thing <laughs> you know what some better gear why not yeah All right, what is this? I don't think there's a proper entrance. There might be, but. So I saw one by Lake Hylia too. Um, it's walled off and, wait, before we look down. Huh, this is peculiar. It's a lot of walls and paths. Like a lot of that stuff. It must lead to something. It's like a preserved ruins or something. Hey, there's a person. Hi. Hello. It's like their own little village. Well, the sky's different. What's on your back? Oh, there is an entrance. One of these days, I'll go back to treasure hunting again. Hope you're able to join me. It's an extra pair of hands. Huh. So Katie. That's probably the eggs or the entrance, so. Interesting. Mm. Bizarre. Um. Well, I guess see what's through this door, maybe? What is that? A broken bed. Table. Hmm. Okay. Very mysterious. That's what I love about it a lot. It's a giant pit. Okay. Yeah, this pit was here in the base, but literally nothing was around it. It was just there. What's on top of here? I don't think anything too crazy. Um, very bizarre. Okay, we're gonna take the path down. It's for a quest I haven't found yet. It's interesting. Still wanna explore around because this is very unique. Goes all the way down. That's so cool. Just the design of this place is amazing, though. Like so exceptional. What's down? This looks like a boss arena now. And there's a gate. Okay. What is that? Just a little spike coming up. Porky. Or carpet. Hmm. This weapon's very durable. I like that. <laughs> Bunch of rock salt. Of all things. And iron. What is going to be all around? 
Um, I don't know, let's get this Korok and then figure it out. <laughs> if it is for a quest, then at least we have a good idea of this area, which is really cool, to say the least. Also, we messed it up just ever so slightly. Jump up and backflip. Good. <laughs> hey, Scarwookie, thank you again for the 20. Uh, you're planning on donating it anyway, just as you had last week, but the only thing, use caps on uh, the word Sheikah and censor. Yeah, it's that might have been a little too sensitive. You, there's not very fine adjustments. Uh, yeah, I can, I can see what I can adjust in the moderation settings, of course, but usually it's meant to be like a, a sentence all in caps, like spam the chat, because some people do that. Uh, but thank you so much, though. I appreciate it. I shouldn't have just blocked it for two wards, though. Uh, there has been some times, and I know some people can attest to this, where the bot was just acting really funny and just over-moderating against its actual settings. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> we'll get it worked out. But thank you so much, though. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, I, that's really cool. I just don't know what this is for. I guess you just have to come back and something will appear here or there'll be people, you know, it's like how there's a Terrytown platform. Uh, you can access from early in the game, but Terrytown won't actually be there until you do the quest. Until then, just a little platform. I'll need to come back to the gate later. Okay. Thank you, Normie's Progress. Uh, also, hi. Ah, I had a feeling something was going to be there. It's on its back. Gold, nice. Bring out the pigs. Uh, we have we have Piggy right here. There we go. Usually he watches the stream while we're uh, AFK in the bathroom or something. So, But he's chilling. He's just on my bed, so it was an easy grab. Okay, yeah, we're just going to come back. Very interesting, though. Uh, but in the meantime, I think we'll go to Hateno. So... Plus, we're going to um, the castle unlocks quite a few quests in this mod. So, there'll be stuff to check out for sure. But for now, I think it'll be time. Yeah. So, just run the naval. Very, very cool. Um, let's just go to Hateno. Um, I really want to get that camera on, and that'll be fun. What does the mask do? It allows you to interact with gossip stones, which is something I never found yet. So we will have to find that. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't see if there's too many new things down there. Yeah, let's just go to Hateno. Um, kind of focused on getting that Cameroon right now. Yeah, so I saw another one of those ruins. Uh, it was by Lake Hylia, which was cool. But I assume it's the same story. We can't visit there quite yet. Oh, sorry, platforms. <laughs> okay. wonder what we're going to find here. I love how, like, sprawled out that is. It's so cool. Is it the starter building? Link's house. Link's house looks... Something looks a little different about it. Is it just me? Did it always have a chimney that tall? Oh, we're out of stamina. Okay, that could just be me fully. Was it always that tall? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay. It just seeing it from that high up just made me... It just threw me off a little bit. Gonna be fully honest. <laughs> okay, general store. Hello. Is there anything else in the shops? No. Oh, the person's turn. I don't see them turned around ever. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, what is that? No, say. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably creeped him out. That's okay. Building the house could be fun, yeah. We could store cool weapons, yeah. Nothing in here besides the soldier's armor, which I guess we'll buy it. You know, I'm trying to buy all the armors. Let's sell a couple gems, though. Why not? Whoop. Yeah. I'm here to sell. Yeah, I would like to wear some knight armor. That would be kind of cool. And upgrade it, too. Like quantities of that, but I'm most interested in selling the rubies and our opals, probably. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna buy this armor. 180. Nice. The mask can also work on enemies. Is it also for stealth too? Like, for sight? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, more testing required. <laughs> Soldier's gear. There you go. Ah, you want the axe, but you might as well. Don't have much variety to begin with. I feel like afterwards we can uh go to the Quark Forest because I want to get more slots. Also, yeah, how much does the gold sell? I just sell your message. Uh, oop, not an apple. Sorry, that's three rupees. Gold's two thirty, which isn't very bad, but I want to use the stuff more for crafting when I can because there's some unique stuff. Okay, um, that's a general store, broomstick girl, dye shop. Wait a second. That's a little different. What are you doing, Wind Waker mailbox? <laughs> Only a postman can check the... Do we need the postman hat? Ah. Uh... Mm-hmm. <laughs> We could probably get that in Rito Village, uh, you know, maybe, or maybe there's someone around here. It's either here or Rito Village. It, it feels like that's where it's going to be, because Rito Postman, Wind Waker. Um, mailbox, my beloved, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy. That just, that really threw me off in a good way. <laughs> okay. Let's see what could all be different here. Because there, there's one difference, so. I think we have enough crickets. We need 10 for this guy, don't we? We have 7. We don't have enough crickets. Mm. Maybe ends. Okay. Hot lid. <laughs> the OP shield. Can't read that stuff. Um, I feel like I never really traveled in too much. It's cool. I like the inn. Look at the shrine. Uh, the dye shop. Anything cool in there? Wow. Oh, sorry. I'm stuck in there. Hello. Seems pretty normal. Okay. I don't really need to dye anything yet. Oh, wait. Actually, do I have enough black stuff? Because I like dyeing this armor black. Yes, dye. It's cool. I mean, I like the red flare, but also the black flare is its own look. Choose a color. Um, I don't know. That's cool. With, like, a black horse. With coal horse, that'll look really cool. Uh, or a navy could be cool, too. Purple for royal. I don't know. Navy is pretty good, but black is my favorite. Um, probably flint, right? Boom, we can easily do that. Let's do it. 20 rupees, easy. Oh, so I skipped on an accident. That's okay. Nice. Wow. This is one of my favorite ones to die. That looks awesome. The red's cool, but the black's a whole different, uh, just fun. We check across from the... Wait, we were in that one. Uh... Across from the dye shop, you say. Dr. Lin. What have you got? Oh! Potions! Well, you can buy potions. Common restorative medicine. Uh, often given to children who are known to be picky. Uh, okay. Cool potion. So that's probably hearts. That's, uh, yeah, also just for effect, too. Um, provides minor cold resistance. Uh, increases heat resistance. Increases the defense. Okay, so you can just get potions instead. Probably attack power, yeah. Uh, stealth, it looks like, and speed. <laughs> Best not to give it to children, that's for sure. <laughs> They're already on this stuff naturally. Uh, very cool. 
That is pretty expensive, though. So. Hmm. I don't know, just for the fun of it, so we can see it. Oh, it's only one of each. Okay, um. It's not a lot. Look what I've got. Okay, never mind. In a collar, you say you should go for that. For that, for the masks. Okay. Well, neat. It just, it's low, but it's, uh, pretty long. Popularly used by field workers in the summer. Huh. Well, very cool. That's, that's neat. <laughs> Is there anything inside the house, though? Nope, we're just stray. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry, you're too short. I didn't see you. Lame. <laughs> well, you're lame. Check for recipes? I, I could do that. Um, Doesn't seem to... Th yeah, there's no recipes. But hey, still very neat. Mm. The stealth set. Yeah, I'm going to leave that one as is. I, I like the base. Look at the stealth set. It is cool to dye crimson, though, too. But I like base. Also... I saw those pots moving in the background. One second. Stamina. Yes. Nice. Pots. Wait. Weak weapon. Sorry, that's almost damaged. Lived a good life, Boomerang. No more, though. Could <laughs> be swapped with a fork. Fork in its own house. Nice. Oh, not the land. Hello. Read. Well, I like all the Zelda characters. I don't know, this... Messing around villages in Zelda games is one of my favorite things ever. <laughs> They're always just charming, you know? Okay, now let's do this stuff. So, oh, the boomerang would have been great, actually. <laughs> Sucks we don't have that, but we do have the leaf, so we're fine. And we can't throw this weapon. This is the absolute worst thing to have for this, actually. Uh, well, this sucks. Yeah, we're not going to make it across, are we? We did! Wow! Wait a second, that was actually really good. Just no rain, though. This is an awful way of doing it. Usually I throw the weapon and keep running. We don't have that advantage right now. Unless we find a torch along the way. Uh, doubt. Yeah, but it'll last for a full minute, assuming we put it away before that's up. So I can get us pretty far. It means, oh, come on! <gasps> Just wood weapon, please. A stick or something or anything. Or I guess I, I guess we can do an arrow, but that's not worth it. Also, we took a long route. That's fine. Let's just get a stick. How about that? Yeah, quite literally lost our good thing. Stick, please. The tree does not want to break. Very good. <sighs> that's a bummer. We just need a wood weapon. I mean, I guess I can get a soup ladle down there. I just don't want it to rain by the time I have to uh, finish this. And what's next? Okay. Well, I guess we're going all the way down the cooking pot here. Simply because I didn't have the right tools for the job. Sadly. What do we got? Yeah, many free spots. Soup ladle. Oh no. <laughs> Explain to the villagers. Oh no. We're a thief now. On the run. Uh, can you pet the dogs now? I don't think so. Hey, they at least acknowledge it for the sequel, so I'm happy about that. Okay. So it's somewhere up here. The clouds look pretty nice. I don't think it's going to rain anytime soon. It seems to be a pretty nice chill day, you know? No rain. That's that, that's a command, clouds. It always rains when I do this quest. Okay. So the best way to do this, to chuck, sprint. Not the fire. That's not always good. 
and then keep going. There we are. Zigzag, so we don't lose our footing. And hey, that works. Seem to be in a pretty good shape. Uh, what? In no way, shape, or form did I hit that button that would put away the weapon. Screw it. Uh, works good in that case. If we have a clear shot, I'm just going to take it with the Phrenic. In case like this, I'll just walk it. Sometimes it's better with the bow. Okay. Need a long throw ladle. The one time long throw will actually be more viable is this part. Do we have a long throw wooden weapon though? Nope. Uh, <laughs> because long throw is not meant to be convenient. So the times where it would be convenient, it won't give it to you. Nor will you just have it. So. Isn't it lovely? It's so great. Um, yeah, they just tell you about the lab. Never thought about lying in the post before doing up here. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, I usually do this because otherwise you're going all the way up to go back down to go all the way back up. Not really the most efficient, so I'm just going to do the up first and then be there. Don't have to go back down. It's it's nice. It's handy. Mm. Can't wait to do more shrines, too. The shrines are just so much fun. I appreciate them. Boop. Yeah. Otherwise, curse long throw all the time. And yeah, it's still important that we uh, did the impa stuff before. Otherwise, the the torch platform will not be there. It's just like empty. Like there's no actual like that thing. <laughs> long throw fun on a throwing spear. It's the best. OP. <laughs> so good. Lock mementos. Okay. We can also get our uh, the Cameroon so we can do the Hyrule Compendium stuff. And that'll be fun. So let's skim. Is there any custom dialogue here? That'll be good to know. Hmm. Longthor Boomerang? You can't actually get that, so... Makes sense, because I guess it'll just make a weirder arc. And honestly, there's a lot of cases where sometimes you go too long in general, that they just hit something and, you know, it breaks the path. So Longthor Boomerang could actually be worse, in some ways. Some ways better, I guess. Uh, Snap. <laughs> Try the mask on the enemies? Yeah, I don't really know what that did. Unless it was for detection. And the dialogue is different. Yeah, uh, if you do the flame first. Because you recognize that. Repair. Just showing gonna rewind, but good luck. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, this is it's been nice. I like seeing the new little features, uh, especially the shrine earlier. That was awesome. Okay, now we got this, so um, boy, Ordon Village that'd be kind of cool. I don't know. I feel like now that we have this camera checking out Ordon. That could be a last, well, I know it's going to be a big thing, so might as well check it out. <laughs> yes. Okay. I just want to do this first, a little base game stuff, you know? I took one. And let's upgrade these runes for sure. I think we can upgrade them all, including the stasis, because I know we got some ancient cores. Talk to Impa. Uh, yeah, if we do one memory, then we can get the champion tunic. Okay, something good. Mm. Cores, yeah, I think we have enough. Ancient materials. Uh, I'm game. Sheikah sensor, for sure. Because when we're in shrines, we can have a chest sensor in case we miss something. So, 
That'll be helpful. Mm. Yeah, I think our goal is we're going to try to get everything. Because uh, as far as I know, the only one you can miss is Master Koga. But you can always buy the picture, too. But, like, yeah. Does the call seem different? I don't know. Hmm. Well, there we go. Shika Sensor Plus, uh, that'll be nice. So we don't really need it for shrines. But it's good for chests and other things, too. It's helpful. Uh, there's there's a couple times I remember in the past where I threw a weapon too far, like a boomerang, and I lost a boomerang, uh, like in like a snow field or a snowy mountain or whatever. Uh, so I actually put the Shika Sensor on the boomerang that I lost so I'd find it. It was actually kind of cool and clever. So it'll help for weird stuff like that, too. Slated for upgrades. <laughs> Might as well just do it now, you know? <laughs> Roll bomb. Alright, then there's also the, the shrine here, so. Literally almost a 200k. Thank you. Yes, uh, we're, we're close. I think we're about 200 away now, so. Yeah. My original thing, like, earlier this week, I'm like, we'll either hit it tonight or sometime tomorrow. So it seems to be in that ballpark, which is going to be awesome. So I really appreciate you guys. Uh. Yeah, as I said, no stream next week because I'll be out of town. Uh, but I will be getting up uh, my next video, which is like a little, well, a big 200k video, kind of. It's a challenge run. And yeah, it turned out to be a lot of fun. So at least something in its place. But it's one of the few weeks where I won't be here, sadly, for a second wind. Okay. Well, let's see. Final one. I don't actually know. I just assumed that we have enough ancient cores. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> you must have just had enough. <laughs> and hey, the Mad Men. Thank you so much for the five dollars. Hey, Croton. Where can I find the music I use for my challenge runs? They're absolute blops, bops, and music at identifying apps can't detect them. Uh, description. I make music track lists for all my runs. And well, the majority. There's like two of the earlier ones where I did it. But uh, yeah, there's a full track list. Um, all different songs. I'm happy you like them because, uh, you know, including the music with all the different moments in the runs is one of my favorite things about making those videos. So it's a lot of fun and just making, you know, the streams feel like a full cohesive adventure that way. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so thank you, though. I really appreciate it. Climb again. Nice. <laughs> Here's since 500 subs. Awesome. That's so cool. Aw. Well, it seems that uh, we have everything. I just want to see how many cores we actually used up, because... Do we have any left? I know we just got one recently. Yeah, I think that used all of our cores. So, super fortunate. Awesome. Mm. Okay, so I think our final thing here is we're just going to hit up the shrine. Because, hey, we got our uh, Sheikah sensor. We got our upgraded bomb, so you do double the amount of damage, 12 to 24. And uh, oops, turn that off. Then upgraded stasis so we can pause anything. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. <laughs> mm. Well, I think... Right as we enter the shrine, I do have to use the restroom really quick, though, so we will be right back. We'll give it a minute of breather, and then we'll do the shrine, then uh, head to uh, Ordon, I think. That could be really fun. I know we won't be able to check out everything Ordon has to offer, probably, just today. Um, but, you know, to at least get there and to see what it looks like will be so cool. Mm. Also, if there's anything more to do here, let, let me know for any of you who've played it. Um, if there's any cool like characters or things that I missed, I would love to see it before we leave. Start highly an owner owner? I, I can start that. Okay. But yes, I'll be right back. It'll be uh here. We'll get here. Piggy on stream and uh we'll get Iggy on stream. So Piggy and Iggy. Be right back. <laughs> Piggy Iggy, be right back.
Okay, I returned. Hey guys. Guys, you did great. We yoink. <laughs> well, I'm back. Hi. Um, seems like we're in a pretty cool shrine. Ooh. Wait. Yeah, there's a tablet. Okay, this one's not base. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Yeah, this looks a bit interesting. Yes. <laughs> Piggy cherishing with pig. Sorry, let me drink really quick. Mm. Sorry, my nose got itchy for no reason at all. All of the blue. <laughs> yes, Piggy stream. Why only three deaths? Because we don't suck that bad. At least this, uh, not yet, at least. Before warned hero those who are caught unprepared however eager may soon find this trial all too burdensome huh interesting okay well first i see a torch and one that's not lit so that seems important <laughs> i've played a few zelda games before uh, i know how to do that one bye arrow Okay, what is over here? A big drop and a very fast current. Okay, um. What is that? Secret? Ooh, a secret. Is it a key or an optional item? Another Frenic bow. The game really wants me to have these. Okay, uh. Yeah, about that. You know what? Whatever. We don't need that one. Mm, whoosh! Dronomo! Whoop! <laughs> good, good. Yeah, that is some fast uh, water there. I wonder how we don't die. Okay, uh, well, there's a crystal switch. This is a Tunnel Shrine, yes. And it's not a gyro mess, so I, I like this. I appreciate it. What'd that do? Oh. Interesting. And... Ooh. <laughs> platforming. I don't need all the platforms. Uh, that's good. Huh. Just on there? Do I ride it alongside or go upwards maybe? I assume we make a staircase. We're just going to need a lot then. Perhaps. Wait, let's just go that. Yeah. At least if not up all the way. A decent bit so we can get some high ground. Yeah, that's good. What's on there? Um... An invisible platform. Not what we were uh, wanting. Well, that's great. <laughs> Is this a bit excessive? Do I have to go up here? I don't know. It just feels like I do, so I'm doing it. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe I'm not supposed to. Oh, maybe I am. Okay. I see the ladder. <laughs> it's like you're making your own level now. It, it's custom platforming. Yeah, just don't get pushed off and we're fine. Okay, uh, ladder the opposite way, I see. Just be careful, you know. Seems to be something we can easily trip up on, which I don't want to. When we got the ladder perfectly there. Nice. What are you doing? Get souped. <laughs> He's in the soup now. Shrine soup is shrine water. Mm. Crate. <laughs> okay. I hear guardian, but I don't think the guardian sees me. But <laughs> by bat, okay. He just got in my way. What a failed sneak attack. Just 
like that. Oh, whatever happened there. Just want to crack it open with the crate. Yeah, there we go. That works. All too well. Wait a second. If we cry on his pillow right there, we can get some height. And then we can put it on top. Okay. Neat. <laughs> That's a cool solution. We can do a double climb there. Uh let's flush it. Let's go upwards. And boom, just like that. <laughs> cool. Okay, now what else is here? It's so open, which I do appreciate. Aha. Wait a second. I have a plan B. You know, keep rolling. I know you're square, but keep rolling. Keep go for it. Yes! <laughs> nice, okay. That was awesome. The funner way of doing it. Okay. Hey, Ryan, thank you so much for the five. Okay, of course, I'm loving the second one series so far. Love the content. Keep up the awesome videos. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really love playing this too. Uh, so I'm happy you enjoy seeing everything because uh, it's really a blast. Like, you know, just I don't know what to expect. And then everything blows me away even more than the last time. So it's really cool. The work went into this was awesome. <laughs> Those boxes were not. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much. Anything fancy? Oh, it's just a way back. Okay. I like blowing up the bottom ones and then the other ones just die to fall damage. So, isn't that always fun? There's the guardians. Mm, don't have a guardian sword. That's fine, that's fine. Sorry, soup ladle. They just basically use Choo Choo AI, so that's why they kind of move like them, which is cool. Wait, sorry. That's a bit more convenient, I would say. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we still have those Sheikah weapons. Although I'm rocking the night look, kind of, though. Should have used the night bolt. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that's more so like it. <laughs> yeah, spring lift. I don't think... Oh, we don't even have a chest picture. Okay. Um. <laughs> we'll just walk between the bars. Darn. Okay. Uh. I see ya. It's in this little cage right now. So how do we get in there? Oh, wait. No, that wasn't the right switch. That's where we were. Oh, yeah, there's it's a bit of a funny collision. Not gonna be that easy. <laughs> I guess not. I assume we're all okay. Let's hope it's something in the area. Hmm. Did talk about this one being hard. Oh, over there maybe? Or is that just Aha! Yes. But now we're down here. That's okay. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. I think the collision just messed up on these ramps a little bit, but that's okay. It's still being worked on. <laughs> um, does that mean I can... Not quite. However... Yeah, this is fine. We'll just run around. Yeah, this, uh... This, this dyed knight armor looks really cool. Like, it has the black in there. Even the shield has that, you know. It's more of a... Either darker green or blue. I can't really tell. It's also just the lighting screwing it off, off, so. I'm one of the people who got you uh, into playing Breath of the Wild again. Love the videos. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Uh, can re-inspire you. It's always a fun adventure, so. Regardless of what you're doing in it, so. 360 no scope an enemy. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Killed. Does that count? I like my gyro went like very wacky for a second after that. <laughs> that was not a good situation. I was trying to parry the keys. No. 
That's a mistake. But die! Okay, Keys, who's up first? Bye, Keys. <laughs> he just missed, so. Come on. Die to the parry. They're not even getting me. Inefficient. Okay, good. <laughs> Do you want to be next? I killed two of your best friends. It's just you. He's doing it for revenge. Oh, no! <laughs> he chickened out. You're not a chicken, you're a bat. Do bat things, like die. Please. <laughs> you bonked off my shield. You know, that was kind of funny. Goodbye, bat. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, angered, Keith. Very angered. Whoop! Yeah, but I appreciate the support, guys. Thank you so much. It's really nice to hear. And yeah, it's always a blast doing this. Whoop. Okay, that's one. A single torch. Hmm. I wonder if we have to fire it. Hey, torch. You're fired. There's many. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Also, maybe this is type of waterfall we can uh, swim up with the Zora tunic. But maybe not. Anyways, we don't have it, so <laughs> not like it matters. This is such a... No, I like the shrine, too. It, it reminds me of the uh, the bomb shrine, actually. Just how it was very golden-like. Uh, sort of like the mid-floors of Trial Sword. So, gives me that vibe, and I like the lighting a lot. And waterfalls. Lush greens. <laughs> when the shrines have lush greens. Perfection. <laughs> Whoop. I'm still gonna check around because I think I have to light all the torches before advancing. Maybe there's more, maybe there's not. Doesn't seem to be anything there. Maybe we'll just go up and see if we miss stuff later then. Okay. Hmm. Well, that ain't gonna open so easily for us. So. <laughs> we gotta climb something. Yes, there's there's gotta be another torch somewhere. Ooh, there it is. That's two, and how do we get there? I guess bomb arrows come in handy. Uh, I don't see any wing gusts. I guess you can always climb the waterfalls and fly in. That seems to be our best option. And maybe if the torch is right there. No, I don't think so. Wait, wind bomb. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Go for it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no, it was right there. And I ferried. Okay, crap. Well, it looks like. <sighs> You're kidding me. We went too high. <laughs> when you fail the wind bomb because you went too high. That's the worst. However. Wait. I have a gut feeling I'm going to make it right in. Right where I need to. Oh, we were so close. Oh, man. Okay. Sorry, that's a, that requires a bit too much precision. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be good for that. A couple of uh, Kronos pillars it is, is then. <laughs> Why not? And then wind bomb, right? <laughs> no. If we're going through the effort to do all these pillars, uh, I'm going to make sure that the rest of it's safe. Probably only need like five more. What are my plans for Breath of the Wild 2 content? Honestly, uh, I just want to play the game. Like, I'm excited to play it, and I'm going to play it as if I was playing it by myself or for other people. Like, I... Well, I'll stream it. Like, I, sorry, I should have mentioned that. Uh, it will be streamed... Uh, We'll pretty much be streaming back to back as much as we can in one two as it comes out. Uh, and then afterwards, in terms of whatever else to do with it, happens. We know it's going to be fun, and I'm really excited. So, <laughs> thank you so much, though. Yeah, thank you for the two. Uh, Silas, my bad. I almost read it wrong at first. Fire arrows, ten. Okay, that's. I mean, that's nice, but that's not quite why I came up here. Um. 
I mean, obviously important. Uh, so we got one, two torches. Maybe a waterfall is hiding one. We'll check that in a second, I would say. Torch by the door? No way. <laughs> Did I really miss one by the door of all places? By the upper door or... Wait, we'll check here first. I didn't see there's one by this door. Nah. Well, we'll see. One second. Mm. Upper door. Okay. My bad. I could go through the waterfall. Yeah. That's my last resort because I'll be annoying to swim to all of them. Uh, come on. So we could have done that all. Man, I literally missed it. It just went right over my head. Literally, because Link is very short, so the torch is over his head. Uh, well, you know, close enough. Uh, whatever. Is that it? For some reason, I just assumed that was the end. But it's not. Okay. Probably loops around to that first area, honestly. And from there, I guess we'll see where we go. Sometimes there's a bit of travel in these shrines because you get to go on these like upper parts, but it's it's cool. It's more scenic. Ah, too late. Too fine. <laughs> okay. Next to you. Yep. Have to take turns. Ow. So annoying. Why am I messing this up now? Okay, I'm in death loop. Or fail parry loop. There we go. Nice, just barely. Oh, two in a row, that's, you know, part of myself there. It could be a little funny, the timing. That's, that's not bad. It's a maze. Oh, wait, this is the apparatus maze, I see. <laughs> At least it's not a gyro thing. How do, how do we make it over there, though? I was like, wait a second, maze? Is there something we can do? There's another switch. Do we have to hit both? Okay, interesting. Maybe check that out, though? Yeah. Also, I think the ball is literally just there because it was there in the base shrine. But maybe we push it into somewhere. Maybe we don't. Either way, which way should I be going? Uh, there was kind of another way. So. Okay, that takes you to here. Um, wait, was did the ball need to be pushed? This is a shrine you can very well just wind bomb over the platform, but that is not very fun. Mm. Okay. Well, in that case, <laughs> let's go the other way. You probably need to push it somewhere. That makes sense. I just want to make sure. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I lost my footing. Too confusing. And hey, thank you so much, Sylvia, for the $20. Uh, what controller do I use? Thanks for reaching me so much. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I use the uh, Switch Pro controller. Um, it's honestly the best one. Like, Joy-Cons are nice. Better for people with smaller hands, honestly. But uh, yeah, the Switch Pro is just so comfortable. Um, you can get, like, a, a charging dock for it, too. That's what this little thing is. Uh, you can take it out, but usually they make, like, docks where you just plug in this top, like, top adapter, then just rest on the dock when you're done. And it charges and holds your controller. And that's what I have, and that's why if you see my controller, it just has that. So, it's neat. Controller's very good. I even use it for our PC games, too. Like, when I occasionally play other stuff like Elden Ring or something. Uh, it works with Steam and whatnot, and it's really nice. So, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, we do have to push the ball th to there, it looks like. Good thing we weren't too ahead of ourselves. Um, where's the ball? The ball's here. Okay. A bit of pushing required up ahead. That's okay. Mm. 
Nice. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Mm, that way, and <laughs> this is fun. Whoosh, <laughs> whoosh, push. Yeah, like never have to push these in the base game. It's like classic Zelda push puzzles. There's a lot of classic Zelda feeling stuff in this. Whether it's like deliberate, like, uh, you know, like the masks, the old masks, or like the post box or like the potions. Uh, or like, I don't know, just pushing like a box through a cramped cavern. <laughs> Ocarina of Time vibes. Wait a second. Oh, we went the wrong way, didn't we? Oh no. <laughs> I just assumed that was the right way. And I was like, wait a second. It looks a little, a little bit more barren. Just, just, just a smidge, you know? But no, I think this is still, yeah, it is almost the right way. We just took a wrong turn. Okay. <laughs> it feels very satisfying to push, even though it's like a little slow. Like, I don't know, it just like has a nice push to it. The player kind of stays like locked onto it. So like, uh, you kind of go like, <laughs> it is funny. Love the channel and videos. Thank you so much. Okay, we just rolled in and roll goal. It's like a little ramp. There it is. The real part to the shrine. And pushed in. And just like that. Okay, so that's uh, that's the shrine. I forgot the warning thing was at the beginning, but uh, we got past it. It was very cool. Just have to, you know, be perceptive of your surroundings. And it was a good time. So I liked it. Very nice. Yeah, it is a huge shrine. There's a couple like this. That's that was just cool, and it was very pretty looking. So <laughs> sometimes all that's all I ask for, and this mod definitely delivers with that. It's like three quarters of the shrines are overhauled. I just think they didn't touch the test of strengths yet, which is okay. So anytime we see a shrine, uh, we'll save before it because if we go into it and it's not overhauled, we'll save it for a future stream where it likely may be overhauled then. Ordon Village, though, yeah. Um, no, definitely. We talked about doing Hylian Home Owner, but I feel like we're going to save that because I really want to see Ordon um, before it gets too late in the stream, you know? So we've been streaming for uh, almost two and a half hours. The message at the beginning is there because the shrine requires some gear, like arrows, torches. Oh, makes sense. Okay, I get that. <laughs> yeah. Plus, we have a bit of stuff. Some people come to Hitano a little bit earlier. Blood Moon! <laughs> that happens like once per stream. Well, that's fine. Okay. Well. Yeah. That's fine. Rusty Halber, my favorite weapon. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take. What's a good route? And there's so much of the world. Let me just scratch the surface. So it's a tech lab. There was a quest. You know, let's just, uh, let's follow that pin. Why not? All right, we can always do this. We'll do it at the next stream, maybe. Uh, get, like, schematics, it looks like, or notes uh, for ancient weapons that the blacksmith could build. And then also the, the different masks, too. That'll be fun. Hmm. Am I in the wrong area? Knights of Ordon. There it is. Okay. So, not too bad uh, of a horse travel. A couple minutes, maybe, at best. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, uh, on the knightly build, all the blessing shrines are overhauled. There's about eight to nine non tatsu strengths remaining. Oh, okay. Well, nice. That's that's really good progress. Yeah, I just installed the last night we built before the stream. So that's really cool. I really appreciate these shrines. They are so much fun to play and so cool to see. Like, just everyone does really feel unique. And I have unique memories of each now. So it's so cool. And we're only like a very small fraction of the way to the shrines. I can't check here. But yeah. All right. Mm. Well, you might run into a guardian. I don't know. 
eventually, yeah, fairy fountain, find one of those will be soon. Uh, sometime soon will be good, because I just want to get stuff to level 2. So that means this armor is actually kind of weak. And I'm just wearing it for the aesthetic, but that's okay. Maybe let's just travel our aesthetic. That's always fun. We get 15 defense points then. And don't hit me. There we go. <laughs> hit him first. Cole Horse is a beast. Can you even see it from a distance? That'll be cool. Hopefully when the rain lets up. Because yeah, even if we don't do everything there, because I, you know, I know it's a new village, uh, I kind of want to at least see it. Because we're pretty deep into the stream, but I did really want to see it before we ended at least. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is a lot of fun though. Uh, I guess as we're riding, I can say, hey, there won't be stream next week. Uh, I will be out of town. So it'll be one of the few weeks we won't be able to stream on a Wednesday. But Force Replacement will be getting up our... Uh, next challenge run which also doubles as a 200k video so that'll be fun um and yeah then after i get back more second wind we'll do some more challenge run streams in our twitch uh and yeah it'll all be fun and yeah hopefully uh tonight or tomorrow we'll hit 200k so yeah kind of a beefy milestone it actually was last april when we hit uh 100k so just over 200 subs away. So we'll hit it soon, and I really appreciate it, so thank you. We're gonna ignore the Guardians, it's fine. <laughs> I'm on a mission quest. Jump over the tail. <laughs> By tail, I mean arm, but same difference. <laughs> we can always get the shrine that's over here, too. Is it a test of strength? I don't remember, actually. I feel like it might be, but I could use the war point because it's the closest castle war point. We're heading right to it. Okay. You all need to buzz off. I don't need all these ancient parts, at least right away. We're safe. We're okay. Okay. What is next? There he is. <laughs> the beeping never goes away. Beep, 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 beep. And we're gold. Not the Skywatcher. Okay. Get the shrine. Oh, he jimmy to the side. Not good. Oh. I thought he lost sight. <laughs> oh, no. It's a trial power. Oh, the Trial of Power. Uh, no, that one's self. Uh, this one... This is a test of strength, right? I'm pretty sure this one and that one is. This one's... The Trial of Power is down there. But that'll be fun to do. I love Trial of Power in the base game. That's actually one of... Easily my top five base game shrines. That and the Blue Flame, probably, uh, are in there. Test of strength? Okay. So we unlocked the War Point. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There's a lot of test of strengths around here. Sorry, Cole Horse, but I know you're a tank, so you were able to manage. But I'm very sorry about that. Okay. Well, that's my favorite castle war point. So we got it at least. It's never safe cutting across, but I do it all the time. Alright, we do have the camera. We'll start taking pictures of stuff soon. We should get a chest in there and pretty much anything else. Oh! <gasps> I am so sorry. Okay. He's still alive. Luckily. We need Kalors to live. He's smoking. You're saving Tesla of Strength Strange for part two. You got a neat idea for them. That's cool. Yeah, well, we can save him too then. <laughs> I'm sure there's something we can, yeah, always, uh, you know. Whenever there's updates, we can check that out. But in the meantime, there's going to... It's going to take so much time to just get through everything that has been changed, honestly. Wow. <laughs> Quite a few months at the bare minimum. There we go. Yeah, so just this way, I guess there's always Tabantha Tower. Not the Royal Guard weapon, that thing. I don't know if I need it yet, though. But also... Never a bad time for a cool weapon. 
Actually, this horse has sustained enough damage. I would be foolish to put it in more danger. Use the rest of it, I don't care. Good. So, no danger. But I'm pretty sure this is one of the weird ones where I can't really get to it. Wait, maybe if I climb the pillar. Aha, okay. Because, you know what, yeah. We'll take that. It's not worth that wooden chest yet. <gasps> Long throw! Why? That was the only modified World Guard weapon we can get for like a long time. Okay. Well. Yeah. <sighs> Hold up. That weapon has 52 durability though. That feels a little different now. You know, that makes sense because you can craft these weapons. So it sucks that we got an awful modifier and uh, yeah, the save over it so we can't go back and reload it. Yeah. However, 72 damage claymore is going to be just phenomenal though. So yeah. am I that mad? Not really. Um. Yeah. Okay. I'm also just going to get the shrine but not do it yet. It'll be fun to just have one to warp back to. That's what we did initially too. Um. That's fine. Because I just really want to get the tower, maybe? If that's in the way. If not, then just the village. I'm pretty sure we're kind of the right way, yeah. Hmm. Try the mask on enemies. It Does it work like Majora's Mask? I don't know. Oh, well. Yeah. Let us see. I forgot that this rice splendor exists because this train just kind of folds into itself and it's weird. Hmm. Also, thank you guys for uh, on the horizon of 500 likes. I appreciate it. So, yeah. thank you. <laughs> it's been a chill day. I really like this. Yeah. I think the tower's a little bit behind. Yeah. yeah. Completely forgot this was an area up there. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Well, um, there's a tower there. Yeah, let's just do this. We missed some towers already. I'll see. Yeah, what does this mask do anything? Yeah. Oh wait, this mask acts like it does act like Majora's mask. Okay, that's why the enemies were being stupid earlier. Well, that it didn't know. Okay, grind him to a crisp here. Oh wait, not quite. Not quite. Oh, he's going to throw it. Uh, he tried to throw it at me, but the other spear blocked it. Talk about poetic justice. Uh, uh, needs more poetry. Good. And another. Goodbye. Oh, come on. Die already. One, one more for the road, right? Okay, good. <laughs> oh, that was fun. What am I planning this playthrough? I really can't plan things because it's just so, uh, you know, there's so many surprises. So I'm really going off that and then just, you know, alongside of it, just doing normal Breath of the Wild shenanigans, pretty much. And it's been, it's been great so far. That helped for getting over there and completely missing it, but not for getting up the tower. <laughs> that sucked. Oh, you know, it won us to see this chest. That was a joy in it. So great. He's still following me. Hopefully the chest is alright. Is it? Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Goodbye, 420. Hello, 470. Okay, good. Uh... That gave us a slight edge, so we might just barely dodge those guys now. Sorry. We need more baked apples. Do we not? Oh, we have one. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Well. 
Get the Master Sword eventually. Yeah, the hard problem is going to be an issue. It still requires a lot. And we won't be doing Divine Beast till then, probably, because they're not changed. So I'm not doing content that isn't changed, because if we do it, shooting star, uh, then we can't go back. Because if we do a Divine Beast and it gets changed, uh, we can't redo that Divine Beast, because we already did it in its vanilla state. Okay. Rally scale is good for the tower, but wind bombs are even better, so. Another one. Da, 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 da. Perfection. All right. Did he miss Ordon Village? You did not. We're actually just about ahead there, and we're very close. We're literally just going to ride to uh, Cole Horus and check it out. Also, it's like it's cool because uh, this tower is pretty close to well, pretty much the best horse spot in the game. So if we do eventually get another horse, that'd be cool. Because Cole Horus needs a friend, a buddy, you know. There we go. Remember the rats? Oh my god. No rats seen today. but That is a star fragment. It is very far. It's a far fragment. We don't need it. Sorry. Okay, well, it's just over there by that shrine. I believe so. Wait, let's pin the shrine. Oh, it's a little past the shrine. Okay. Can't quite see it yet, and we messed up the flight. Do we still get it, though? Not quite. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, that sucks. Oh, well. Um, close to a horse, though. And there's some ruins right there. That's like the Royal Tech Lab ruins or something? I believe so. Hi, cool horse. <laughs> this always follows me. Well. I can't wait to check it out. We'll be there in no time. Also, trying to s still trying to see the mystery of these stall weapons. Uh, we found two of them right on the plateau and haven't seen anything about them since. Uh... Ancient weapon once wielded by fierce stellar creatures. So it's probably teasing another area. They're very weak. They're they're brittle ones. Uh, strong damage though. Mm. Oh. And now it's porn. Well, not anymore. Okay. <laughs> Hit one in between the map regions. It's like, oh, little rain. Never mind. Uh, we're in the next area. I almost forget this little area exists too. I just don't take this road very often. Also, it's like you have to go through that to get there. Uh, sometimes they take a weird, funny route. Okay, it looks like we're just on the horizon here. This is really exciting. Let's get these Loomis ores because they are very valuable. <laughs> we can make nice bread with them. Not actual bread, just money. So lame bread. Uh, but taken nonetheless. I guess that. It's a good weapon, but these gems are better. I think I hate the rain. I guess we can do the shrine, honestly. Wait for the rain to go away. Ah. I'm trying to go for a two for one. Flint. <laughs> That's unlucky grab from that. Oh, wait. What weapons do they have? You know, we were just talking about these things. <laughs> wait. Stall mace. Ooh. First picture, too. Our new camera and what are you? Curse for Coplin. <laughs> okay, and I swear we just got a picture of it. Cole Horse. Yes. <laughs> it just keeps adding it. Okay. Uh, let's get that mace. What does that say? An ancient weapon once wielded by fierce stall creatures. Despite its edge, it uses blunt force to render victims powerless. Interesting. Okay, so, uh, there's axe, 
There is a... Yeah, there's an axe, there's a mace, and there's a claymore. What's the durability? Five, five. Not too good. Oh, it's a, a two-handed mace. Okay. Claymore's two-handed that. Still very interesting. Um, and yeah, the axe. Nice. <laughs> Meek cleaver. Badly damaged. Sorry. And hey, according to Jordy, thank you so much for the two. Uh, hey, dude, love the content. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> Whoosh. There we go. Well, I think now we should go in the shrine and then check out the village. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. That was kind of wild. But now I actually remember what I was going to do. Uh, I was going to check the compendium entry. Of course. Aha. Stell Mace. Uh, okay, so this just gives the same description, but still cool. Common locations, Grudo Desert, and Tabatha Frontier. Okay. Interesting. Maybe maybe there's a base somewhere, but who knows? You gotta ignore what's to the horizon right now. Um, the Minecraft Java Edition axe crit. <laughs> Literally. New chunky sword. Love chunky swords. So cheese bread, how, is it just wheat, salt, and cheese? Does that actually make cheese bread? Ooh. There's brick there? What is this? Huh. Okay, what's this one? Drawing parabolas. Uh, I have to jump for some of these ladders. Okay. They like the brick like right off the bat. Smack him to death. And... Finish him with that, good. <laughs> Quick switch to the shield. Get him, get him. Okay. Let me go up there. Can we get the ball out? Huh. Maybe it needs to be there, but maybe not. Maybe it's a switch. Good. Now smash it on him. Oh, that was gonna break. But break now. <laughs> that works. Hmm. Yeah, they're all very maze-like. Yeah. The shrine still retain the ancient techie feel very well. Well, still feeling very, you know, nature lived in, so. Maybe up there. <laughs> this I know this is not a uh, normal. So this probably is not how to do it, but we're, it's just how we're doing it. <laughs> and look, we filled it anyways. Maybe you just had to take it, because they're both activated, so... Hmm. But just in case, I don't want to... Wait a second. We're not stuck in here, are we? <laughs> Uh-oh. We are. One, two. Maybe we're a little bit hitting it the wrong way. <sighs> yeah, okay, I got a little stuck. Just a tad. I'm not soft locked. I assume we just get it up there. There we go. There might have been another way. Use an arrow at the end? I, don't, I just don't do that enough, honestly. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Awesome. I was like, I knew we could get it. I just hit it funny at first, so. Awesome. <laughs> that was fun. Um, next. <laughs> There's the beginning. Well, I'm just looping around. I'm like, what is this area? Oh, I was here. What's the next area? <laughs> Crow's on the golfer. Yes. Used golf skills that I don't have. Came in handy. <laughs> Very. Mm. Huh. Is there anything over there? Or is that just a alternate way to get there? 
Oh, it's this shrine. Okay. <laughs> I'm finally seeing uh, the base comparison. Whoosh. Now we can tilt these platforms. Okay. Um. Aha! You. Ah, oh, that works. Uh, looting them's a hassle. At least, yeah, hitting switches doesn't take up durability, so I'm not going to worry about that. But yeah, now that we have the chest in position, um, come on. <laughs> wait, actually, yes. Okay, good. I was like, can we do that? No, wait. Yeah, we can. <laughs> Thunderblade, nice. Actually, something good for my level. Super stoked about that. Okay. Oh, now we need that ball, don't we? Aha. I see now. I see, I see, I see. Okay, there we are. Um, where was that thing? <laughs> kind of forgot that's what we needed. Because I don't even remember... Some of these shrines from others. Okay. The chest. Oh. Oh boy. Uh. We did that. It was just a matter of doing. Where, where did I put that ball? Uh. It was up there. Sorry, I'm just a little lost. <laughs> I didn't pay attention fully. Thought I was, but not quite. Was it up there? I think it was up there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the one little area I didn't check out quite. Okay, down we go. Whoop. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got a little too comfortable with that edge there. <sighs> Come on. It's a funny corner climb. Good. I know I can do the, the tosses. You technically don't even have to at any point in this. We're going to do it here because it's fun. Yeah, fun. There we go. <laughs> Mid hop. You know, like pushing power. Is that the, is that the actual gulf shrine? <laughs> However you say it. Oh, it's a little... If you want to go back. Maybe you need to. I don't know. It seems like we're good, though. Okay. We are fine. We got the chest. Awesome. That was a fun little rendition on that. I do some extra stuff with the ball beforehand. Well, okay. Cool shrine. <laughs> There's still a mixture of the shorter ones and the much longer ones, which I appreciate, too. Because then it's just like, okay. Fun little rendition on the classic one. But still very detailed and, uh, you know, scenic. But sometimes you get the really crazy ones, which that's like, wow. How long have I been playing? Uh, ever since the game came out. The day it came out. Uh, so March 3rd, 2017. It's been, a, it's been a while. It's been a fun time. What are you? Why is there an ancient oven in the field? Well, if my calculations are correct, we're pretty close to Ordon Village. So if I just took a right, a slow right. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Wait, we got to get closer. Okay. Uh, I'm excited. Wait, before we do, uh, I think I need the ancient oven. So we're just going to take advantage of that now. <laughs> so we're not going back and forth. I would say that's a good idea and a good build up to getting there. Come on, cool horse. <laughs> Do we have a wooden weapon? We have a leaf. That works. Ooh, silver bokos. We're in it to win it now. <laughs> um, at least he dropped good weapons, so. What? You saw me through the crack in the wall? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. That makes sense.
I was not wearing stealth armor, was I? Again, upsetty. Oh, hi. Yes! Go for it, Cole Horse. Okay, stun lock him. Because we can. No other reason. There we go. Take us Dragon Bone Boko Bat. Awesome. Which has 16 durability. Not a lot, but we can trade weapons. And yes, these guys drop gems. I'm so happy we got silver enemies. We're going to claim we're very OP. Oop. Not quite. Good. Yeah, before it rains, do the important stuff. <laughs> yeah, why not? Ah. Crates. Usually this is a call for some drill staff action if I want to break the crates. Sadly, we don't have a drill shaft yet. <laughs> so, we'll have to wait. <laughs> that was a funny climb. But we did it. So, yeah. Silver, nice. And... Yeah, we can't break the chest in this mod. Oh! I swear to God, like, two streams ago, we were trying to smack open chest and we just couldn't do it. But, uh... I don't know what happened. So I guess we can. <laughs> it must have just been a weird little uh, coincidence, maybe. Who knows? Or maybe it just requires more to break. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Goodbye, soldier shield. We're not quite able to trade weapons on them, sadly. I don't like spear guys, so. Hi, weapon. <laughs> Might as well, right? And then take it. Nice. More. He's like, no! <laughs> no, he's kind of grooving there. I kind of like that better. Oop. That guy will hit very hard. You can't let him. Come on, charge again. Just solo break it on him. Use it. Yep. <laughs> wow. Decent damage, but not really good damage. Hence decent. Uh, yeah. They, they give you really good gems. Wow. He just brushed up against us. I hate that attack. Because it starts like instantly, even before he really charges. It becomes a walking killer hitbox. Good thing we had fairies, right? <laughs> Still 29 hits. We're good. Well, okay. That was good, but stealth is better. In fairness. There's the ancient furnace. Okay. Well. I think we just ride this across. A spear could be nice. Uh, we got arrows, and luckily that guy is a spear guy, so. There's no way. Oh, come on. What? <laughs> Fine. I'm just going to take your spear. Wasn't mean to kill you, but whatever. We didn't get that far, sadly. Whistle Lord Thumb, who cares? <laughs> go, 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 go. Up. <laughs> Boom. Ah. Those guys can screw off. <laughs> well, if you just take that to that torch. Boom. Was one of the Zelda creators that got you back into the game, so thanks. No problem. I'm always happy to. You know, there's a lot of reasons to revisit a good adventure like this, always. So, thank you. I appreciate the support, guys, so thank you, too. Yeah. Alright, well, we're just gonna spin past here. Slow down a little bit so we're not getting tripped up. Still got time before it burns out. <laughs> got a full minute. And hope you could like this. Ooh, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Let it go. And again. <laughs> There's the village in the distance. We're bringing the blue flame. I don't know where. I I mean, besides just to the village. <laughs> there we go. A little stable. It is raining, which I don't like. Don't even tell him. Ah, it started raining. Crap. Well, good thing we stopped. Uh, I can take another soldier shield. Why not? 
Sorry, drop that one. It's served its days. And thunder, okay. Be nice to get a nice nap in before we visit the village. Should have got Majora's Mask. It actually wasn't there, uh, but we got this mask in the place, which is nice. Uh, regular bread, just for the time, why not? Mm. Uh, okay. Well, Leviathan bones. We'll take pictures of those. Uh, all right, you can't take pictures of the gems. Soldier shield. That's be a nice picture. I might as well fill it all gradually. Wouldn't take that long. <laughs> just, just gradual, you know. It's gonna be nice to have all our own stuff. If it's soldier, I think we can swap that. We'll just swap it for a frenic. How much durability do we have? This is our first frenic bone, yeah. <gasps> Almost 100 shots of just frenic, even after dropping this. Don't really need it. <laughs> there we go, nice. Well, let's go make our final stop and a pretty major one too. There it is. Nice. We're finally approaching. Wow, it's got the, the village gate. Oh boy. Let's put this away for now. Whoa. All oh, the trees are so pretty too. Hello. Linus. I am. Magda. Head for Tenno Village, become a florist. Big dreams. Hmm. Interesting. Can you bring her a silent princess? Okay. <laughs> there we go. A little travel quest. We'll be back soon. One who fell on the well. Okay. A flower for Magda. Well, that's cool. And hello to you too. Who are you? Tib. <laughs> I wouldn't stay long. That's a warm welcome. <laughs> Attacked by monsters. Oh boy. Um. Oh wow. This is beautiful. Ooh. Interesting. The little shakers in the back. Very pretty. This music fits it perfect too. You know, it just transforms such a just plain area of the map and it's got like a fence. Wow. There's an inn. I'm gonna check out the inn first. This is so cool. Hello. I don't need a room, but Bulb Lin Inn. Boblin! Oh, very cool. Ah. <laughs> okay. Don't need a special bed. Okay. Yeah. Take the Hateno in. It's very peaceful. Wow. Hi, who are you? Oh, not in the mood to talk. I don't know. Not everyone seems too happy to be here. Uh, at least those two people. They're like, monsters. And like, I mean, that's a valid reason. Ordon Goat. Oh. Were you the one who made my cheese earlier? Yeah. Hey, Goot. You have the little bell. Do you want your picture taken? No. But I do want to take a picture of your spear. <laughs> He's like, eh. <laughs> Great picture. If you have some time, go and see my sister, Carolee. She needs a hand with something. Plus, I'm not good with you. <laughs> I see. Okay. That's interesting. Is it you, or who are you? You. <laughs> you, you. Me? <laughs> are you a goat? 
Where's the yes option? Uh, <laughs> you has escaped. Ah, escape goat. Wow. A furry fiend. What are you? Ooh. A lawn ornament. There we go. Nice. <laughs> That's cool. Wow. Hey, Scar Mookie, thank you so much for the 10. Still banned here for some unknown reason. Uh, might want to grab Majora's Mask anyways, just saying. Plus, be prepared for a lot of panic moons here. That's... Okay, I think I did read something about a village having more panic moons. Uh, so, I'll be prepared. But, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I don't know exactly why it could just be like a day thing i will have to go into my nightbot panel so i'm really sorry about what happened it shouldn't be an all day so it literally just could be the bot freaking like that's not supposed to happen that's not how it's set up so i'm sorry about that but uh thank you so much though i appreciate it uh, blue bird wait no birds uh -huh. sad what's in the shop milk arrows cheese Coco, a rare powder from a foreign land. Although it has a bitter taste, mixing it with the right ingredients makes it sweet. You know what? Just take them all. I like Coco. Coco's cool. <laughs> Hi. Uh, can you buy? Yeah. Specialties? We usually have a stock of fresh pumpkins, but recently my sister has been saving or having some pest issues. Find her behind the shop. Cocoa and well-known goat cheese. That's cool. I will buy some arrows, just because we use a lot of them. Okay. It was fun. This is a peaceful way to end the stream, but I, you know, still want to see this first before we officially do. A lot of barrels. One apple. That wasn't good for my durability. <laughs> There we go. Hi. Annoying rats. Hey, these pumpkins look a little wilted. Oh no. Rats, you say. Something wrong? Terra. Killing pests? What? <laughs> Rat killing, you say? Hmm. Oh, three monsters. I can help. You can't accept. Oh, <laughs> we're trying to help you. Oh, we win. Never mind. Yay. Uh, wish you can go to the doors of sheds. That would be cool. Yeah, I always like walk up to him because I think I want to and can. If I want to fix up a new scarecrow, you need a few Hinox teeth to make it all nice and ugly. Huh. Two Hinox teeth. Do we have that? Not so good. Okay, well, Hinox is on the list for sure. Also, I hear like a rat noise. I didn't quite see them though. Pretty. That wasn't a good picture. You can do better. Yeah, that's better. Much better. Oh, pretty. <laughs> What's over here? Smoldering. Ooh. It's a whole rock. Is it like a castle? Whoa. Well, that was unexpected. Okay, what's in the armor shop? It's abandoned. And just bushing it. Yeah, really abandoned. Uh, darn. Scarecrow, more like children's nightmare crow. Yeah, just monster teeth. It does the job. Yeah, I just really like taking this in right now. Okay. It has that uh, Nintendo vibe, which I like. 
to be a guard. A moblin got the best of him. Ouch. I've been using the spear ever since. <laughs> it's okay, maybe one day. And we got a picture of that. There's like fields. Little wilted. Oh, is that leading to a graveyard? This is so detailed though. I love this. Like, I just really need to take it in. A grave. I am the baker. No, I am the baker. Thorn the Moblin Slayer. Was that? I wonder if that was them. Saran the Priest. Lord Dampe. <laughs> yes, Dampe. Mel, Knights of Hyrule. Here lies Pola and Royd, who wish to be buried together for eternity. Sad. I wonder if something happens at nighttime here. Lint. Not Link, Lint. This grave is not marked. That's my grave. Dr. Rodas. Also. Oh, it's a Gordon Gull. I'm like, what are you doing? That was a Korok puzzle. I'm going to do that. It's got to be behind the rock. There it is. Wow. And I know there's more we can check on the village too. And up there. That's so awesome. Wow. Well, let's do that really quick. Just boom. You know, it was really awesome to see that. I think I want to see one more thing in the village though, but that castle thing I might honestly save for uh, the next. We can kind of kick this off. I just kind of want to get an introduction to this village. About 50 Koroks have been removed, so don't be surprised if some are gone near here. Oh, that's fair. No, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, we could still have more than enough for the slots, so I totally get it. Oh. Hi. Here to join the resistance? You don't know about it. Hear what people say. It's to buy goats, not swords. <laughs> Life advice to live by. Night. Hmm. Or keep. If you've been down to Lurlin Village, uh, okay. One of those is an existing character. Count me in. <laughs> Resistance. Have you seen that furnace? Okay. Yes. Okay. So let's let's do that then. I'm up for the task. Awesome. Well, let's make that our final little objective, and then uh. You know, we're at a good point. We made a lot of progress, so obviously saw some awesome shrines uh, today. <laughs> really the Underground River one. That was my favorite out of all of these. Uh, that was really cool. I also really liked, uh, well, even just seeing that one area and like the pit. Couldn't really do much there. Uh, it was really cool. Just, it was smoky, mysterious, and it's some later game quest, it seems. Also, well, look at that. Yeah. This is a statue of Hylia under construction. Very nice. Small shrine. Aw, sorry, Keys. Yeah, but they got that. That's nice. There we go. Like a nice picture. Very good picture, actually. I like that. An arrow. <laughs> Someone was practicing something. This is so cool. I'm sure there's a building or two I might have missed. I th oh, I think it was the beginning stuff. Because I was just kind of walking around really taking it in. Rip the fence. I clipped through it. <laughs> okay. Let me just check this really quick to see if there's anything. I don't think so. Usually this is where people go to sleep. So if it's daytime. Oh, a kid. So tired. Orin. Fought monsters? Yeah. They're really dead. I'll speak to him. Okay. No rest for the weary. <laughs> okay. I'm locking some new quests so we can uh, put some stuff in our mental checklist of things we think we can do soon. I really like this. This has been very peaceful and nice. How often do I stream? Every Wednesday. Uh, that's my guaranteed schedule. We do do... Pretty occasional streams on the weekends too, uh, but I'll be out of town for a little bit, so no next weekend stream or anything. 
in this next short period of time. But we'll be back then. Oh, no. Fire horse. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, usually every Wednesday here on YouTube and then occasional stuff on Twitch on weekends. Uh, sorry, fire horse. It barely does any damage, so I'm not too worried. Sorry, traveler. We'll check out more of that stuff soon, too, because that was all really cool. We missed a fork in the road, didn't we? <laughs> I love seeing this all. Yeah. There's that, too. We can check out those boards. Okay, there's the fork. Right, so it's there, and then... Well, that's totally my bad. <laughs> uh, it went a little too long and all the wrong ways. All right, you know, we'll talk to you. Donkey D. <laughs> Treasure to be found. Nice. With the wheat? We don't have any wheat. It's only 14. That's actually pretty good, too. <laughs> 140 rupees just on wheat here. Plus 10 points for hitting civilians. <laughs> Getting a score streak over here. Why can't I pick it up? What happened? <laughs> huh. Oh well. Usually it allows me to re-pick it up, but... Maybe the train was funny. <laughs> oh well, I guess we're taking the slow route. The slow but sure route. Also, we got that one too, whatever. <laughs> We're almost there. Yeah, there really is more. It's that, and was it left? Oh man, exploring a new place for the first time. Just, <laughs> am I taking the right way? Yeah. There's the furnace I see in the background. Oh, never able to pick up the flame out of the grass. That's right. Okay. Yeah, it's only like rock. I, I totally forgot. It's like, yeah. If it sticks in it, you can't pick up the flame. Makes sense. Just haven't done that in a while, to be honest. There we go. Burn my leaf. Who cares? <laughs> there we go. Ordon Tech. Sorry. Skimmed it. Okay. <laughs> Just holding like a flag. Another idea. Way I can help. Beza, the blacksmith, hasn't delivered any of the weapons that we need. Check up on him. Yeah. All right. Knight of Vordon, Beza. Yeah. All right. Well, that was a lot of fun, and <laughs> there's obviously going to be a lot to do here. A lot of mini quests, and continuing on this main quest, too, which it's wild that this is the main quest, but obviously, big location, very important, and very, very cool. But this is an awesome stream, seeing this. Some of the just new areas that will be used later and uh, shrines and, you know, just building up our character more. As always, that's always fun. And hopefully, uh, I know Lionel's pretty nearby, so maybe you can check that out next stream too. Because it's been a while since we killed one of those. Uh, that was the first stream. But yeah, stream number three, that was really fun. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, it's really a blast. I'm happy we can do more Second Wind. Uh, so sorry I won't be here next week, but all the following weeks I should be. Um, just Wednesdays and yeah. I can't wait to see you guys again, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, too. Um, we're very close to 200k, so we'll probably hit it more than likely very late tonight or tomorrow. So thank you so much for that. It's really been amazing. Um, and yeah, I'll have a video next week up for that in place of uh, where the stream would be. So um, again, really excited to get back to this just when we do. It was just a lot of fun. So thank you all so much for watching. I had a blast, and hope you all have a great rest of your week. So have a good one. My, my, my thing isn't working. I can't. <laughs> it's not letting me play my outro screen. <laughs> One second. <laughs> One work. <laughs>